speaker to adjust my audio levels. That's probably better. Yeah. Yeah, this looks better for me. Yeah, 90 hertz seems better. At least so far. <laughs> See, this menu, I feel like it does weird things. Maybe it's just the menu screen. I don't even think it's a frame rate issue. Well, this is the menu. I gotta say, pretty cool. Skybox could be a little higher resolution, maybe. <laughs> no, this looks great, though. Look at this doll. Like, seriously? Random stuff toy. <laughs> That's great. A swing, swing set, and a noose. Thank you, stuff. Okay, cool. I'm gonna start in a little bit. Let me just get a drink. All right, are we ready to start this? Let me make sure I can still view my chat. Yep. It's 
So I don't have text to speech enabled because I didn't think of that. Uh, I should have set that up earlier. But I can view the chat manually just by hitting a button, so I might be a bit delayed to read your messages, but I'll, I'll try to remember to read them every once in a while. But let's go. I don't have any progress. Let's do it. Man, I gotta manually paddle my boat. Can I just do it one-handed? <laughs> if I keep paddling on one side, am I gonna end up crooked? I think it's fine. Let's see, why is it so janky right now? <laughs> this is like right outside my boundary. does that to you. But maybe we can help each other. He's talking to me. Okay, we're going with smooth movement today. No teleporting. Do you see your lantern? Take yeah. it. Okay. It's that sugar. I guess it's us grabbing our lantern right now. I don't know. Yeah, I got it. See, my tracking is a little jittery. I wonder if I need to like clean my clean my lenses or something. The outside lenses, I mean. These don't do that. Oh! Okay. I use the lantern to bring things back to the way they were. Go back to the past. Oh, hey, Montunnel, Zithril, Astropath. I didn't use OVR Toolkit, I'm just using the, uh... I'm using SteamVR built-in desktop view thing. If I just hit my options button, then it lets me view my desktop. Your lantern brings back objects from the past and even fixes them. It makes the house remember how it used to be. I don't know why it's so jittery. Oh, my frame rate is quite low. I guess my CPU just sucks. <laughs> I need a... I should have got that 5800X 3D. Because, like, I don't think this is graphics related. Um, how do I even hit the menu? There we go. We could try without antossing. See if that fixes it. If that doesn't fix it, I'm gonna have to enable async time warp again. Oh! Well, that helps a lot. Huh. Alright, I guess we'll roll with that. A little more demanding than I thought this game would be, considering it runs on the headset natively. I imagine it doesn't look like this, though. <laughs> I will be buying that version too just so I can play on the plane. I have a Ryzen 2600. Hey Tango Bunny, welcome. Uh, hey Mr. Monkey. <laughs> I, I don't think I... I don't think I said hi to you yet. I gotta click a button to manually look at chat, so it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle. No text-to-speech here. Hey, it's missing something. Can 
Can I put my thumb down on this? Yeah. Punch him in the eye. Alright. You got a key for me. I can't take it yet. I need to do something. I need to find... This is in the trailer, so I'm cheating a little bit. But, uh... So this tells me Lantern fixes that guy. Yep. Figured that out. And it points out his eye specifically, I guess. I guess that's the hint. Now, I selected both options. What did I just click? <laughs> oh, is that just head height or something? I selected uh, the option for both teleport and smooth movement, but I haven't figured out how to teleport yet. I might need to check that again, because walking around this much is probably going to make me sick. Some guest. I didn't try to unstream. No, I'm going straight for the stream. Pushing the stick forward. On, no, that's just movement. Left left analog stick is movement. Right analog stick is turning. Uh, let me check the settings real quick. Cause yeah, I'm probably gonna get a little sick of. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, I think I get it. I didn't make any changes. Okay, yeah. Right stick is turning, but if you hold forwards, then it does the warp, of course. <laughs> no physics on the cloth. It's okay, my CPU couldn't handle it anyways. <laughs> Do you have an eye for me? Am I just blind? Where is this thing? Or can I... Oh, I can just steal it from you. Okay, but how do I... I heard sounds, but do I have an inventory? That's not it. That's not it. Oh, the gems came back. Is it on a timer? Controls, how do I control this game? I want to give you... Oh, okay, so it auto-uses it, I guess? Alright, let's get out of here. Huh, that's a bit glitchy, this door. I wonder if that was one of the volumetric FMVs, because if it was just polygons, I imagine it would have rendered fine like everything else, right? So maybe that's like a volumetric FMV going there. Yeah, they could have shown the crystal in my hand, right? Old man Stealth built a house and filled it with his toys. Tell me more about his toys. Or old Six man stuff. Came Here we go. Their screams the only noise.
Wait, I'm not ready to go in yet. Oh, come on, I want to look around outside. <laughs> I got a ping. What is that ping sound? Is that a Steam message or... Oh, it was probably an achievement, right? You guys might not have heard the achievement sound, actually, because I'm capturing... Application audio, maybe? I don't remember. You guys heard it too? Okay. It was probably an achievement. Looks like a drum. It's just this case. Got a purse. Take it with me for a bit, I guess. I can't go back outside. Oh, butterfly. The toy maker's house. Come here. I, I need to remember what happened. I Kill. remember his voice playing on the record. There should be a gramophone here, right in the foyer. <laughs> I like that they gave it like AI to avoid my slaps. <laughs> this looks like the knight from Clan Destiny. I wish they would have made the shield texture like exactly the same. That would have been funny. I know there's a gramophone he behind a me. I... Forced to grow up in a grim and grimy orphanage. A quiet child without any friends. So he made his own. Can you Soon he this? discovered he could entertain the other children with the puppets he had made. Everyone loved the shows young Henry put on. Particle effects! That's pretty good. Were you guys able to see that? I'm wondering like, if the center of my view is a... Oh, you know what? I can look at it right now. Okay, so you guys can see... Like... A pretty small area, actually. What are you gonna do? Um... Yeah, it, it is kind of a small view for you guys. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind, like it's dead center. But you guys were able to see that cutscene, right? The paper I was holding. Nice. Look at these physics. You don't normally see that, physics on the objects that you're holding like that. I'm gonna get some vibration feedback. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Oh, right, I can light up. I think it looks the same. That's cool, it's like all shiny. Link it down. It's got reflections and stuff. And the plant is all lively. They have, like, two textures for every single thing. Everything has two textures. The current texture and the past texture. That's pretty cool. I Yeah, I know, Astro. I'm still new to VR, so I still grab everything and throw everything and punch everything. And if a game lets me give the middle finger, that's bonus points. Only some games do that, though. It's like, Gorn lets you do that. Uh, and then, like, full hand tracking games do that. Actually, does this game have... I don't know if there's a way to explicitly turn off my controller. I was going to see if this game has native hand tracking without the... I don't know if that works with Steam VR without the controllers. I'll put it back. Oh, it goes back on... Okay. That's interesting. That's cool. Can you guys see that? That is quite a cool painting. I still haven't done the thing the butterfly is asking me to do yet, which is to listen to that over there. See? The butterfly over there waiting for me. Uh, I'm sure that as we get uh, more time in this house, I probably won't be messing around so much. No fire. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, let's check out these paintings real quick. Oh, that's easy. I grabbed a coin if you couldn't see that. It might have been a bit low for you guys to see. I probably can't open this door yet. Yeah. I wonder if the layout's the same. Is this the dining room and kitchen? The clock is, you know, a little bit out of place. Like, I mean, come on, it was there in the original game and it's here, here. But it's pretty much in the correct spot. It's got the little moon, too! Oh, can I... Can I play the animation? Come on. Do the thing! Alright. Let's check out these paintings. It's like a sorcerer. Is this a Saruman? <laughs> this one's like a very small change. Just like a slight smirk. So this one has eyes and a seven. When you light it up, it's got the, the seven that's added for sure. It's like a shipwreck with a monster added when you... Is that Godzilla or something? It's pretty interesting. Okay, so here we can see the range of this lantern. It's a pretty decent range. Once you see the ceiling and stuff. I probably can't go upstairs yet. Oh no, I totally can't. Let's save that for later though. I don't want to get too distracted. Goaded Quest! Welcome. Goaded Quest, uh... Do you have a VR headset? I don't... I don't know if you planned on playing this or not. <laughs> yep, she did. Ooh, phone. Hello? Disconnected. What? Awesome. A feeling lonely reference. Is he gonna do it again? Did you guys hear that? Feeling lonely. He said feeling lonely! This is so good. Oh no. Hold up. Is he gonna it when your line goes dead? Oh, because I walked into the table, I guess. Or something. Oh, it's because I'm clipping with the phone. It doesn't want me to clip with the phone. That's silly. Is he gonna say anything else? I think we ran out of Easter eggs here. Feeling lonely. Honestly, the soundtrack sounds great right now. I actually did look to see on the Steam page if they sold the... the if they were selling the soundtrack, but I didn't see it there. Maybe it's in my game files, I didn't check. I I really just installed this, got it set up with OBS, and went straight to streaming. If anyone else has it, let me know if the soundtrack is in there, because these remixes sound legit. Wow, she's just... She's quite dead. Yeah. <laughs> this should be the library. So we'll... I guess we'll probably do the classic dining room and library checks first. After we listen to the... After we do the thing we're supposed to be doing for, you know, like 30 minutes. You brought it back! Back from that evil night! Okay, so I have used my lantern to bring this vinyl... into the present. 
Guys, which side do we play? They're not labeled. Oh, oh here we go. Not that. Let's... Welcome to my house. I'm so pleased to see you all answered my invitation. And tonight promises to be a night full of surprises. Solve my puzzles and perhaps you'll walk out of here with your heart's most secret desire. Do leave your luggage in the foyer for now, as I have prepared a warm welcome for you all in the dining room. I remain your humble host, Henry Stout. This house is filled with memories. If you find them, we can learn what happened. I'll show you. You just have to stand in the right place and look. All right, bye. Oh, here we go, here we go. All guess entrance. So this, I guess I already hit it with my lantern enough. We're so far from everything. And what about the rumors? Eleanor, they're just that. They're rumors, okay? Now shape up, we need to make a good first impression. Stop These volumetric videos look good. Wisely. Never mind the smell. Bit dreary in here, don't you think? Martine, burden. Maybe you've seen me on Broadway. Regrettably not. Brian Dutton, you're on business. Hmm? A colleague of Mr. Stout's, that must be nice. I've never met the man, though I am intrigued by his success. So you can't get too close to the volumetric videos, or they disappear. Just so they don't look terrible. Illusionist extraordinaire. Julia Hine of the Hine Hotel. I don't suppose you know the toy maker either, do you? No. But I heard he was run out of town. What did happen to the children? Oh, pish posh. Where's the dining room? I'm starving. Oh, a premonition. Should be this way. Oh, spirit dictates it's this way, my queen. If you say so, nice. magic man. Every time you hear the clock chime, new rooms can be explored. This one I still remember. The dining room. Follow me. Oh, wait. Is that going to replay the cutscene? I guess we should find out. Yeah, it does. Edward? Yeah? Can I, We're so far can I just run away? <laughs> what about the rumors? Eleanor, they're just that. They're rumors. All right, okay. let's check a now chat before I enter. Make a good first impression. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Go to... It's... So they're 3D videos. They use some kind of volumetric uh, video capture. I'm not entirely sure how it works, actually. But yeah, it's it's real actors with cameras just in 3D. Uh, but not like not like 3D like stereoscopic 3D, but 3D like they actually have depth and volume. It's not pixels; they're cubes, basically. It's brand new technology. They made it just for this game. And what's up, Tenka? Steve? Fahisht? I, I don't know if I said your name properly. <clears throat> I'm using the Meta Quest 3. I just got it. Do I push? <laughs> I got that cutscene still playing behind me. Uh, I don't know how to skip it. But it's about to end anyway. Spirit dictates it's this way, my queen. If you say so, magic man. Staff's not joining us for dinner. I guess our host wants us to fend for ourselves. Great. Is there anything to drink? Hmm. I didn't see him. Oh, I might have been standing too close to <laughs> to see them. I don't know. I guess we'll get more use of that mechanic. Oh! Can I? Look, 
You can see the available rooms, and it even can give hints. It can even solve puzzles for you if you're stuck. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Oh, okay, that's how I grabbed the planchette. And the question is, does the planchette do anything? Or is it just because it's cool? Oh, that lit up. Should I hit it? One of the ups or downs? I know um, on Twitter I saw the writer for the game is actually a fan of the seventh guest, so I thought that was cool. And I definitely think so far this seems really good. Uh, I was gonna hit one of these. What does this do? What does it? What does it do? It lights up. Can you guys see that? When I put the planchette over the arrow, it lights up. Maybe I'll figure it out later. <clears throat> That's cool. This game does have occasional hitches, but I guess my CPU is quite slow. I think they're loading stutters. Is it just me or does this one not change? Oh, oh, the bite. It's a vampire bite. That's like the only thing that changes. Okay. It's a subtle one. This must be important. A little box or whatever. My dear Edward. Oh, I have to hold it with this hand? Okay. How good of you to come during these difficult financial times. But I believe everybody deserves a second chance. Just as I got a new lease on life. But tonight, I want to return that favor by welcoming the elite of our community to my house. This house is a mystery for all my guests to solve. A real head scratcher. Oh, I don't mean to play it again. Stay there. Okay, it stopped. <laughs> uh, the dithering effect on the hand. Yeah, I... Just like the transparency. I think the thing is that, um, in terms of rendering technology, transparencies are pretty expensive because you have to draw the pixel at least twice, and the blending becomes complicated. In a lot of modern games, what they'll do is they'll do a dither effect, uh, where it's every other pixel gets drawn, so it's not real transparency, and then they'll use TAA, temporal anti-aliasing, to smooth it out and it makes it look transparent. But VR games don't use temporal anti-aliasing because it causes uh, <laughs> ghosting, pun intended. It causes ghosting and, uh, I guess, just general motion sickness.
I mean, that's my guess, at least. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh. I keep forgetting which trigger I use. Am I triggering a cutscene, or...? Look at this little guy. I'm tall. You guys wouldn't be upset if I just carried this bell for the rest of the game, would you? Put it back just in case someone needs it. Whoa! Don't worry. It'll be fine. Coin? Oh! My boundaries. <gasps> That's a staff coin! If you're stuck, you can spend that at the spirit board in return for solutions. Oh, so they're worthless. I've been collecting these. <laughs> Maybe I'll get an achievement for collecting them. Oh, I can't mess with these. Alright, let's do the large obvious puzzle before we do the second obvious puzzle that was actually in a trailer. Nice. You guys hear that? Awesome. Oh, okay. Uh, did I already do it? God, look at that bread. Disgusting. Okay, should we do this before the puzzle then? Might as well. It's not even a cutscene. I guess it's a very important plate head of the table. Very important. I don't know what I'd do with it, though. Alright, uh, let me make sure. Yeah, I can't interact with that yet. Uh, so now we learn what the controls are. Okay. I guess I should probably think about this first. Well, it's obviously not that path. Well, I can even show you guys, like, what I'm doing. See, I'm like... Look at that, I can trace this. Okay, so I do need to go this way. No, no. How do I... Oh, I can't spin it while it's in... Okay. So I can't spin it while the lever is in there. I need to cross it and then spin. I could probably just wing it from here, to be honest. Pretty cool, though. I think I took the longer route. <laughs> nope. Oh! A matching plate. Okay. I'm, like, at the edge of my play area. Uh, so let's see. By the way, anyone catch the really light remix of this song? It's pretty sick. It's an escape room. <laughs> oh, my plate reset. Okay, so that's one thing in this game is that it's probably a good thing to be honest. It's a little weird, but if you leave an important item somewhere or maybe any item, it gets its position reset after time. Which, you know, I mean, it's pretty good. I, I've definitely been in a VR game, even with my brief time in VR, where I drop an item in a place that I can't get to anymore. So it'd be a real shame if this fell like in a crack or behind something that I just can't reach anymore. Probably here, right? What are you telling me? It's a 
chicken horse fish person okay oh it's the solution to this puzzle but I don't know if I can interact with this puzzle yet oh guess I can no I can't I'll try to get closer I need to figure out this plate first, which probably shouldn't be this complicated. <laughs> Can I open this? That's funny, it lets me grab it. I can't open it though, I can't move. Oh, here we go. Is there any specific order to these? This one might be in the middle because it's got the different symbol. What's it going to do if I fail? Is it going to shoot the plates away? No, I did it right. Okay, but why did I do that right? It rearranged them for me. All right. So this is the plate, the missing plate for the puzzle. It's kind of weird to call it a plate when everything else is a plate too. Can I break the bottle like in Half-Life Alex? No, it's too bad. Uh, where did this piece go? I think I had it up near the front. Okay, now I can play. <laughs> plate, plate, riddle pun. Yeah, this game's missing riddles, isn't it? <laughs> okay, why are some pieces clicked already? Do I need to unclick them or do I need to reset? Stuff taunts me. Maybe there's a timer. Maybe there's a limit to how much he'll taunt. Okay, so I can unpress pieces. Kid. This one has two chickens. Fish. It's... It's gotta be... Something. So, this diagram only has four sides, so it doesn't have to do with the sides of this... Oops. It doesn't have to do with the sides of the puzzle, because the puzzle has more sides than that. It's gotta be something about the combination. There are four per line, and there's four here. Well, let's just try hitting stuff and see what happens. Um, okay, so if you hit two of the same, or at least if you hit two fish, then it rejects it? Okay, that is good, I guess. See, it doesn't like because there's two kids. Chicken. Okay, so I'm. So I need to make sure they're touching. So, like. So, like, this one needs a chicken. So I could do. Either way, really. And then this fish needs a 
chicken kid. Mm, see, that's probably bad because I don't think I can. Unless this one's already good. I mean, it is green. See, like, these are green already. I don't know if I need to link them up. I think I just need to link up the non lit ones. So, like, this is chicken, horse, fish. And then hopefully there's a kid over here, yeah. There's a kid. This one's unsolvable. See, I think I lost because I can't group this one with any others. I think that's how the puzzle works. So it is kind of like the cake. Chicken... Let me see what it does if I keep playing a bit. But I, I'm pretty sure I need to reset this. Chicken, kid, fish. See, there's no horse or donkey or whatever. Can someone find out if it's a horse or a donkey? Probably a donkey, right? Why would it be a donkey? I... yeah, I mean... It probably is a donkey, I just... I, don't know. I think we need to select groups of four. Yeah. I figured that out by now. Uh, was that my voice? Actually? Is that... Does my character have a voice? Okay, so... See, so this is a lot like the cake puzzle. It's just a lot more complicated when you got to spin the device. You can't look at it all at once. Another thing that's funny about VR is, like, I can't use pen and paper, right? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of using pen and paper on games, but it is interesting that you could, it'd just be really tedious to do. So I guess let's start with the edges. Did I do fish already? Let's just try it. I need to start with the limited pieces that are only touching, like, one piece that they can interact with. Um, maybe. Let's just go with it. Let's see, and then this guy is the next locked in piece. It's two chickens. Can't do that. Nope, reset. Fish. Okay. Kid. Am I doing something wrong here? Let me check that one again. Because... <laughs> okay, let me do chicken. Kid? Yeah, okay. I guess I should look for the most limited next piece. Which is maybe this chicken. Chicken, fish, kid. Oh wait, I can also do this kid. No, I can't. Chicken, kid, fish on either side. Donkey on either side, too. <clears throat> Did it just eject my other ones that I was working on? That's interesting. I guess that makes the programming simpler for them. Um, I can choose one of these chickens. This chicken will restrict that donkey more. Well, yeah, I can't do that anyways. Let's do this one first. I think that's all of them. Do I hit the button or is that going to reset the puzzle again? <laughs> Make sure I got them all before I hit the reset button. I know it changed colors, but I just 
just want to make sure, you know. Time for dessert. Oh, it's beautiful. Dumb. The next one will be harder. Staff seems to know all about us. Yes, and he himself seems to have vanished. Matt, how wonderful. <laughs> oh, who gives a damn? Will you look at that ghastly cake? I suppose we should good indulge to just to be polite. Allow me. Oh, marvelous. I think I'll stick to the wall. I don't know why I'm touching Thank this chair. You. Surprise, <laughs> surprise. It feels like it's real life where I put my hands on this chair and there's no reason to do that. And... Is there a cake knife? Oh. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. I That would be like insane physics for this game. To actually have a cuttable cake. For no reason. That'd be some significant programming work. Let's read chat. Easy first try. Yeah, more like third try, but yeah. <laughs> the videos feel really good, honestly. I, you can kind of tell that they're not perfect resolution, right? Because volumetric videos are going to take up way more storage and processing power than normal 2D videos or even stereoscopic 3D videos. But the effect is really good. The only thing is you can't get too close to them because then everything breaks. But so far that hasn't been an issue really. <clears throat> and I definitely think it'll be interesting to see in a few years if they like really push forwards with volumetric videos how far they can go, how good they can look. I wonder what encoding format they're using. It might even be custom. Like I don't, I don't know if anything off the shelf is going to work for that. Like you can't just use Hevic or you can't use H.264 or anything. I don't know the specifics of how they're storing them, but it might be custom. Can I open this? Of course I can open this. Can I do anything though? Boom, boom, boom. Tongs. I'm talking about. Nice. Pretty good physics. Staff oh, what it seems to oh, know sure, all about us. Okay, well now we can mess he around with these volumetric videos. Vanished. Nah. So you can see when I get too close, they start to fade. Oh, who but, gives a damn? Will you look but graphically. I suppose we should indulge. They are quite good. A little bit of distortion polite. sometimes, but see, you can move around them. That's the big oh, difference between stereoscopic marvelous. 3D I think I'll stick to the and these volumetric Thank videos. You. Surprise, surprise. Actually, looking at them, they might be sequences of polygons with animated textures, maybe? I don't know. It's cool, though. I like it. Uh, these are pull. Oh my god, the door goes the other way when you're inside. That definitely makes it easier for VR. The house remembered. The memory also opened other rooms. You can visit them now. Look at your spirit board to see which ones. Oh yeah, my spirit board. How cool. How do I view the upstairs? <laughs> I still don't know what the planchette does. Oh wait, do I? Oh. Uh... Okay, I just hit the A button to use... Okay. So, can you guys see this? <clears throat> so I got a little lock icon for the locked rooms. But it looks like temples is open. Oh, this layout's a bit different. Heinies, Noxes, Duttons. The bathroom, nursery. Stoff's bedroom. Well, that's new. Ritual room? Okay, yeah. Every You can't have a mansion without a ritual room, right? That's not complete. Underground workroom, huh? <clears throat> what, they're not going to give me a VR maze? Come on. 
Uh, Tenko, this is Steam VR, so anything that can run Steam VR games should work. I, I guess the only thing you need is you need hands tracking of some kind, right? I'm using the Quest Move controllers or whatever. I think it might work without the controllers, but I haven't tried that yet. I know they have a Quest Native app, which I need to buy as well. I need to buy both copies of this game because, you know, just in case I want to play it on the go. All right, let's get our next record. All right, guys, are we playing the A side or the B side? Oh God, which side is which? I guess this is the B side. Let's go play the B side. Oh, cutscene first. No, 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 it hasn't unlocked yet. Let's play this record since I'm holding it in this awkward way. Probably easier if I stand to the side of it. Yeah, that's way easier. Uh, excuse me. Is there gonna be a different gramophone? Is this one dead? Can I can I DJ scratch it? Maybe I need to do this to fix it? Okay, we'll come back to that. It probably wants me to do this first. <clears throat> Am I close enough? Don't you think I belong on the Great White Way? Sure, I did my stint as chorus girl, but lately all I can get are local gigs. And every great artist needs a patron. Miss Bird, whatever you're offering, I'm not interested. <laughs> and if there's one person to solve Stout's mystery, it will be me, alone. We'll see about that. Okay, now let's try our record. Now well, let me check chat. Crank the other way. <laughs> I I think this is the same direction I cranked before. I, I don't know if it'll let you go the wrong direction. That'd be a little silly. It probably it probably goes with either direction, right? You probably all like to lie no. down after dinner. I have prepared a room for each of you upstairs. Specifically tailored to your every need. I urge you. You may find something unexpected. Play it again, stuff. Is it gonna work? You probably all like to yeah, lie down after dinner. I have prepared a room for each of you upstairs, specifically tailored to your every need. I urge you to explore. Uh. Oh man, I'm kind of dying to see the library. You guys think the library's open yet? Oh yeah, I have a map that tells me this. No, it's not open yet. It shows it right there. It's locked. <laughs> the upstairs looks really cool though. Some stained glass. That's Henry Stealth, the wicked toy maker. Whoa. Cool. I need a painting like that. <laughs> okay, this one is extra creepy. <laughs> My controllers vibrate when I shine the light on his face. 
Interesting. I wonder if that'll do something later. I love sounds that actually uh, games that actually make the sound when you hit stuff. There are quite a few games that I've seen that don't actually do that correctly. I guess there's a chance I might find a coin in here, but maybe not. Not that I'm gonna use the coins, but you know, achievement hunting or something. Uh, can I read chat while I... No, I can't. I was wondering if I could read chat while I have my map open, but no, I can't. Actually, maybe if I do this? No. The soundtrack is really good, yeah. It's a very, like, chilled out version of the original. It's very smooth. Sorry, hands in painting? What, what are you saying, hands in painting? I missed that. <laughs> uh... I don't see anything specific. Okay. <laughs> sure, now I'm going to default to the second floor. So they changed the layout, so they're they're really just trying to kill me here. Um. So pretty much every room to the right, and then Dutton's room is on the left. Um. Is this at least approximately 7th guest layout? Like, not in any way. Like, there's nothing similar. There's no game room either. Yeah, here it is. Oh, it's big compared to the other. Okay, so this is totally different. My memory is just gonna ruin me on this one. Hey, it's this guy, the meme guy. That's not too bad. <laughs> Skeleton. Skull. Map's too hard to read, I'm just gonna check some doors. This is all so beautiful. Just like I used to have when I was younger. Is this part of Staff's game, perhaps? So no video there, no volumetric video there, just voice. That's pretty cool. Pigs? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Looks like the Wicked Witch. I open these? Is this umbrella gonna be useful? <laughs> Can I open it? Come on! Uh, did we look at these yet? <laughs> There's like so much to look at in this game. <laughs> This whole stream is going to be a 90% looking at things with the lantern and on and off. What am I even close to? I need to like scoop myself. There's nothing here anyways. Let's read chat a bit.
Yeah, most of the paintings, or all of the paintings so far, change. The stuff one's the only one that's animated, though. I don't think you can interact with with paintings at all. Oh, that's the menu button. <laughs> okay. Back to it, then. The Landeros Bank of New York. Rob Landeros. It's like too bright. I can read it under this light. <laughs> Is this even working? Get out of my way. We regret to inform you that your loan application to finance your hotel has been denied by our bank. After careful consideration and review of your application, we have determined that we are unable to extend the credit that you have requested. While we understand that this uh, news may be disappointing, our lending policies require that we only approve loans that meet certain criteria. Uh, this is to Mrs. Hine, by the way. Or Miss Hine, I should say. Unfortunately, your application did not meet these standards as the revenue of the Heine Hotel has been in steady decline for the last seven years. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you for considering our bank for your financial needs. We understand the hard work and dedication that it takes to run a successful business, and we appreciate the opportunity to have worked with you. Thank you for your understanding, and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Sincerely, Mr. Joseph Miller, Loan Officer of Landeros Bank. Huh. The path of life. All twisting. Oh, it's a puzzle. And it's a puzzle, guys. I just touched that by accident, and it's a puzzle. Let's get back to that. That's that letter we just read. A coin. It's a joker. One thing that's interesting is that the time doesn't change on the clocks when you light them up. Considering the lantern is supposed to show you the past, I guess it's the same time in the past. Whoa. So the lantern has the dragon in the sky and a bunch of destruction. Can I... So many paintings to look at! Oh, man. What am I even... Oh, it's a pig's head. There's a pig's head on the plate there. Unfortunately, some of them are pretty dark when you're not shining the lantern on them. But I guess they're all public domain paintings anyways. Okay, this doesn't seem useful. Hein Hotel, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. J. Hein Manager. Oh god, there's a backside. How do I? How do I read this? Three dollars for a single room. Wow. Double rooms, four dollars and five dollars. Man, these prices. Electric fan and running ice water in every room? Amazing. Oh god, chat. Chat's moving faster than I check it. I think the clocks don't show the real world time on purpose because they show the in-game time. <laughs> Can I put the lipstick on? <laughs> Can I twist it open? No. What the? Oh, <laughs> that was just coincidence. The lipstick respawned at the same time as I was hitting the thing. What's this? I need to use my other hand. Okay, so the lantern doesn't work on her picture.
the something Julia Hine. Man, I cannot read that. The enchanting? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> this game's gonna take forever to beat. Are there two puzzles in this room? Sliding coffins. How macabre. <laughs> That's Henry's coffin. It's got the H on it at least. This is pretty cool. I want to see the cutscene though. <clears throat> I wonder if the puzzle resets automatically when I leave it. Alright. Let me check chat real quick. Welcome Techno Bumble. You got the PS5 VR. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, of course. I whenever I'm awake early enough and you're streaming. It's always a good time. Do we go in order? Let's go in order. Oh my god, this is a puzzle too? Are there three puzzles in this room? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I drink two. He drinks two. Did his win by accident? No, he only... Oh, okay, he gets to choose how many he wants to drink as well. I thought he was going to pick the same number as me, which obviously would have been very easy. Okay, so it's a drinking game, so I, it's a math game. I need to... This is... I guess this is versus AI, isn't it? I don't... I don't know if it's AI or not, but... Well, let's start with a big drink. No warm-up. <clears throat> Um, so I wonder at what point I need to start thinking about my drinks, because he can drink three now, and then, no, see, so you won't. Oh, crap, I clicked that by accident. I clicked that by accident. That's not fair. <laughs> I was winning. I was about to win that. Hmm. It looks like that last drink is deadly. Ah, I see that. Very deadly. So I started with two threes before. I think he's doing the same thing. I didn't really pay that much attention. Okay, so... See, if I drink one, he's probably gonna drink three, right? I think that's what I did last time, by accident. <laughs> okay, so I need to slow down at the start, I guess. Probably do a three and then a two. So if I do a two now... No, see, this doesn't give me enough room to play. I'm just gonna... ...expand this quickly. Is starting with three even good? I'm sure I can outsmart Stout's twisted little game. Okay, so he chose three. It does light up. Okay, that's good. So now if I... See, I lost again, because if I choose one, he chooses three. At least I assume his AI is smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, taking ones might be useful. Well, let's see. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15. So 14. I like I, I'm trying to think about this in math terms, but you have a choice between odd and even numbers. So this, I feel like looking this far ahead is maybe not useful. At least not to a human opponent. Like the computer AI could calculate it, sure, but okay. So one, two. Well, I just count the ones missing. Five missing, so it's nine left. So it's three times three, but he's not gonna do that. I'm gonna just try two and then. So he did three. See, he won again. Oh, yeah. Try starting with ones. He's doing a one as well. Um, so let's see, if I burn one, what, see, I, like, I don't know how to think ahead on this puzzle. I don't know how to plan it out, it just seems... It seems like there's too many possibilities that we can... See, I lost again. end up at the four. Okay. Okay, so let's see. So the four, he's gonna do three here. He's gonna drink these three. So I need to end up here, I guess. Well, no, because then he's going to drink less than three if I end up... Like, if I end up here, he's just going to drink the two, and we'll be end up with fours again. I think we just need to start slow. He does three. See, now, no matter what I choose, we're going to end up with the four remaining, and I lose, because if I choose the maximum number, he's going to... <clears throat> so I need to avoid ending up here, which means I need to do... I think I need to start with like two. Hey, Nozum. Welcome. Yeah, this came out today. This came out like a few hours ago. I have no idea what time it is because I'm in VR. Oh, it's 1.41 p.m. Steam tells me. Uh, so let me try starting with two, I guess. Oh, I've been kneeling for this puzzle. I guess I should stand for a bit. So I did two. Oh god, which piece was I trying to avoid? Four. So he drinks these three. Which means... So if I do one, he drinks those three. And then I can do one again, and then he drinks... Well, at least it's different. I don't know, it's too much work thinking ahead on this one. <laughs> one, two... Oh yeah, see? At this point... Okay, so it's right here. This is the one to avoid landing on. Three... Three... 
now. To... Is there a quick way to reset this? Can I just... <laughs> Maybe if I walk away from it? I don't know. What does this tell me? Oh! Huh. Staff Chronicles. I'm still weirded out that this room has three puzzles, apparently. At least I think that's a puzzle. It might just be an easter egg of some kind. Oh boy, okay. Two. He also did two. So now I need to avoid landing on this bottle, which means I need to drink three. <clears throat> and I still lose. This puzzle's impossible. It's rigged. Let me check the back side. Oh. Uh oh, my my headset's low on batteries. Um Hold on. How do people do breaks in VR streams? <laughs> I have a wire here. I'm trying to pull it, but I can't really see the real world too well. I could try to hang out near my charger. Oh, you guys can see that. Can I play while charging? No, I guess so. As long as I stay close to the charger, I think I should be fine. This puzzle's pretty stationary. Yeah, my new profile picture. You see my emotes? Does anyone... I think I still have them as sub only. I should have like moved them around a bit so you guys could use my VR emotes and stuff. It says my power is low again. I have 15%, but it's charging, so hopefully it charges faster than it dies, right? I don't know if it does. Let's just hang out here. See, at this point I've already lost. I've already determined that this bottle means I lose. It's really too bad there's no quick way to reset this that I can see. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I need to start with two. I need to start with an even number. And then I need to do, if I do one, he'll do two, and that's a loss. Oh, wait, if I do three from here, don't I have the chance to win? Okay. That doesn't seem so hard, I guess. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked, nerd. My movement is restricted because I am plugged into the charger right now. I think it should be fine, though. Did something happen? I heard a chime and...
Let me check if my batteries are actually... Okay, yeah, my battery's at 16% now, so it is charging faster than it's draining. So I'm trying to figure out if this is a puzzle or if it's just for fun. I don't see a goal. Is there any other action I can do with these hoops? Like, I don't know if the goal is to... Maybe it's to connect all of the people? Oh, that's that goes both directions. Okay. See, but that's a dead end then. But is the goal to avoid all dead ends or is it just to make everything connectable? Is this even a puzzle? <laughs> no, it has to be a puzzle, right? Okay, so I just had to make it all from the connectable to the grave, huh? Staff. Let's go check out the mirror. I still don't know if this did anything. Maybe the bottle? Oh. What do you know? See, this is why you gotta look at everything. Oh god, can I crouch with this charger plugged in? Okay, so I can't open that. Check chat. A butterfly. Again, I'm stuck to the charger right now, so I can't move around very freely. <laughs> How did I not notice this before? It's so good. <laughs> oh my god. That's great. Uh, what else we got? Oh, the doggy in the night armor. That's not even spooky, it's just cute. Let's fix the mirror. Hmm. Missing some pieces.
Okay, so this is kind of like the panel puzzle. Oh man, this one's gonna be tough to do without. Well, maybe I got enough room. Where am I? <laughs> uh, this I don't really have room to be doing this puzzle, I don't think. Not with the charger. Okay, so these coffins only slide up and down. They don't slide... They don't slide sideways. Hmm. It looks like someone isn't ready to be buried yet. Okay, so it looks like I need to clear this path for stuffs, graves. This one would need to move up, but that one needs to move out of the way. They're a bit close together. They can be a little difficult to target with your grabs. What am I about to hit? Yeah, just the counter. I'll live. So I move this out of the way. See, but then there's no room to move this. Oh, it is not very forgiving at all. <laughs> These spaces are tight. I got no room to maneuver. Guess that's the point in the puzzle, isn't it? It's like the piano in the eleventh hour. I'm gonna punch my countertop doing this, I swear. And do I have enough room? GG, easy! Ah, oh, cute. <laughs> I need to turn with the analog stick. I got more glass. Okay, that's what the the first puzzle gave me glass, and then the second puzzle gave me more glass. I just didn't notice it the first time. All right, let's fix it. <laughs> you haven't beat me yet. It's complete again. Oh dear, is that me? These bags. These wrinkles. So many mistakes. If only I could start over. What real reflections? Reflections of volumetric video? How oh, cool. She's young. Well, that was cool. Oh, that's funny. It doesn't show my lantern in the mirror. It also doesn't show my ghost flash. It just shows my skeleton hands. Is that technical or is that artistic choice? Possibly just a technical limitation. I think we're done with this room. Also interesting is that the room is restored now, but not but the paintings are still Wait. Okay, so the lantern doesn't work once you solve the puzzles. Um you can't see the paintings anymore. Uh, you can't see the twisted paintings anymore. That's interesting. That means you really gotta 
look at them before you solve the puzzles, so I did the right thing. But yeah, everything's nice and restored right now. That's cool. The room looks good. Let me read chat a little bit. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't see the full converting to baby cutscene. That was a good one. Yeah, you know how you know you've completed the room. I, the map probably tells you that too. Yeah, the map does tell you that little butterfly. Does that mean it's completed, or does that mean I have a cutscene that I missed? Pretty sure that means it's completed. Let's move on. Actually, I think I should take a break because <laughs> my battery is low. Uh, I've been in here for a while, and I don't want to puke. So, let me take a break. Take a drink. I'll be right back. I don't know if you guys will be able to see or hear anything when I take off the headset because the headset goes into standby mode. So just hang tight.
Oh, I can do hand tracking with the... Can I turn off this display without the controllers though? So this is hand tracking without the... without the controllers, but... Unfortunately, I think I need the controllers to turn off some things. It's kind of a pain to use uh, some things barehanded. But I do want to try this. Okay, so let's see. If I put my controllers down, it should switch to hand tracking pretty quickly. Okay, so it tracks my hands, but it doesn't track my fingers. Like, it doesn't track my actual movements. And I don't know how to do things. <laughs> I don't think this game was made for hand tracking on Steam VR, at least. I don't know about Oculus on the Quest store, but like, I can't, I can't move. I'm doing the pinching thing, and it's not. It's cool that it almost works, though. Okay, now I gotta lift my headset, find my controllers. Let me put the hand straps on. This is not an active game where you'd be worried about swinging your controllers and throwing them, but the straps are still good just so you can let go of the controller to do something. Okay. Let me check my battery. Okay, headset's at 31% battery, which is not bad. You know how to go into pass-through, right? Well, yeah, but not in Steam VR. I can I can double tap the headset to I'm only gonna, I think it's going to boot me out of the game if I do though. Or not boot me out, but pause the game. Doesn't it pause the game though when I do? Oh, well, I guess not. <laughs> so I could browse the web while I do this. Nice. Anyways, uh, we're done with this room. Let's get out of here. <laughs> all, those years, oh. to all those mistakes. All I need is one more chance. Is she gonna reappear again, or? I don't know if I have new doors open or if it's the same that I had before, but I mean, might as well check them on the way. There's a coin right there. What is this? Is this one of the sculptures from Beetlejuice? I think this is a cube map on the outside. I don't think it's actually rendering the outside of the house fully. It's like a skybox. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, they showed this room briefly really in the trailer. Stuff? All right, well now we know we got to look at all the paintings before we solve the puzzle. Or however many puzzles are going to be in this room. That is a really big chest. How do you even move that thing? This one doesn't have a... a difference. Is there a way to, like, read these? The something Hamilton. I don't know. My dear Mr. Temple, I 
vividly remember seeing you perform amazing telepathic feats at many venues when I was younger. And so it warms my heart to see you on my own humble stage tonight. But this is no ordinary night, as I have prepared a special mystery for you to solve. And in return, I can offer you whatever you can imagine. You, as a man of magical abilities, should feel right at home in this mansion, alive with clues. Hoping to meet you in the flesh? No? Come on. He's gonna say it eventually, right? Self-decapitation! Okay, it's kind of interesting that these aren't... These paintings aren't changing. Uh... Well, this one changed slightly. There's... Like a little wand there, or a stick? I don't even know. Well, she's also a demon. Okay, I mean, it changes a lot, I guess. Does shadowing matter? That would be... No. <laughs> But like, am I right? This one doesn't have any changes when you lantern it? That might be a puzzle. Why am I still holding this? This, I believe, is a puzzle because- You seem to know all about me, Mr. Stout. Yeah. But can you tell me about you and your magic? Wait, what? What is, what is this, just a plank of wood, or what? What is this implying, that he killed her, or...? Yeah, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, or what it's supposed to mean. <laughs> Kellar, infant. He's a baby. He's a baby. Everyone drop that baby rage. Teleportation hat for the handy extra reach. Yep. Yep, I want it. I wonder if that's going to be a big mechanic in the game or if it's only for this room. Oh god. Okay, I can't open these. What is that? I mean, I can tell that's a bunny, but what is... Oh, it's a bunny with the head cut off. Huh. Poor thing. Nice wings. More bunnies. Evil bunnies. Killer rabbits from outer space. The fat man. Look at the fat man. Don't miss this one. December 18th. Is this year's December 18th a Tuesday? Is this a real thing? Is this a real, like, event that's gonna happen? Somebody check the calendar. December 18th. Is it a Tuesday this year? I don't think it is. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> it's because DreamHack is gonna be December 16th. and that's pretty sure it's a Saturday this year. Trying not to bump into things in the real world. Just a regular comb. What else we got? I'm gonna stand on the side of the bed. Wow, okay, that's sudden. Okay, so I don't know how much of this oh, FOV you guys can see. If I if I step on here and the thing closes. A seven. It's like the bat signal for the seventh guest. Funny. So like, this one doesn't look twisted at all. It looks nice, right? Let's check out this one. Oh, this one too. OK. 
Okay, we don't know what the wind is. The owl? I guess that's a dog down there, okay. So this weirdo guy just replaces the, the woman and the kid, or...? Huh. Interesting. Oh, okay, so the lantern was showing how you do the trick. Yeah, okay. Hey, quick brown fox. Long time no see. I keep getting stuck on this chest. And I've kind of lost track of my real world position. Alright, well I guess let's get started with the hat then, because it looks like there's a bunch of puzzles in this room that involve the hat. Because I need a key for this. I don't even know what those are. I need... I want that stuff. Oh, what's this? When Henry left the orphanage, he started moving from town to town, taking his puppets with him. He puppets. performed at county fairs and opened for many well-known magicians. All right then, time to make use of this hat. No, it's a classic magic hat. But things are not always what they seem in this place. So this should be just portal style. Another hat locked inside a box. I get it south. You want we need to, to get closer. Oh god, this doesn't help that I'm tied to my charger right now. Maybe I should unplug just to do this one puzzle. Oh, there is no puzzle. You just push it. <laughs> Ugh, there we go. This is kind of mind-bending, the way you move your hand like this. Anyways. Now I have both hats. Can't put it on your head. Okay. Well, first one should be this one, I guess. This one looks easy. Maybe the blue one? Yeah, okay. So it matters which color you use because only the blue one works while planted. What? Get in there. Hmm. Something. It doesn't like something. Let go. Oh, you know what? It's interesting that it. It fell into place there. It has a specific position. I wonder if I need a booster for it. Like, do I need to put something on there? <laughs> I need more swap space. <laughs> I need more room. This might be too tall. Yeah. My hat disappeared. Let's try this one. I don't know if this is a solution to the puzzle or not, but I'm trying it. Oh my god. I'm like colliding with stuff. Oh, it didn't like that. Where's my hat? Do I have to do it from a distance or what? Wish I knew what I was complaining about.
Oh yeah, it's a shrinking hat. It's probably in one of these boxes or something. Okay, well, I guess I'm ahead of myself then. Let's try this then. How close can I stand? <laughs> Give me the key. I got the key. Now I use this for this guy. Really? This isn't it. It's this chest. Do I need to turn it or just find the other one? Um, I think only the blue hat can be placed down. I don't think I can put the orange hat down and still use it, so... There's gotta be a way to open this one, right? Ah. Come on, go downwards. Just grab the freaking key! Let me get closer. There we go. <laughs> That's not easy to do, by the way. That's the hardest part of the puzzle. Another chest. What do you know? Do I need to do both at the same time? Do I have enough room? This is a puzzle? I think. Let me get a closer look. They both look the same to me. Oh. Okay, it's gonna tell me this one here's down. Actually, I wonder how specific you are. Halfway? This picture seems to imply that the rabbit needs to go higher up, but that's as high as it goes. Wow, that was pretty specific, wasn't it? You guys saw how specific that was? That was like... It was like an inch of difference there. Oh my god, there's more thingies. This one... up. Oh, this one's got a foot. The foot's gonna come out of here? Oh, lovely. And then this one... is part of the way? <sighs> the nose? Eh, probably one of the other ones is bad. This foot might be too far out. Yeah, okay, it's very specific. Rabbits out of hats and sawing a lady in half. Stuff sure loves the classics. All right, what do we got here? If I stick my hand in here. Got a little tiny hand, baby hand. Grab onto my strong hand. Oh, now you tell <laughs> Just 
Kimmy. <laughs> it's like so hard to do that. Go in here? No. Well, I wonder what's inside here. There's another coin right there. lovely assistant, perhaps? Is this a fit? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Side. How hidden. Put that there. Put this here. When oh, Henry come on. left the orphanage, he started moving from town to town. Taking you already heard that? With him. Okay. Let me read chat a bit. In Detroit. Nice. Uh, so I need the one more coin thingy. I don't think I saw it yet. I mean, it's gotta be in here, right? Oh wait, we've got these cups. I never interacted with these. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. <laughs> GG easy! <laughs> what? Is that it? I saw it glow er earlier, the single one. How are you supposed to solve that? Are you supposed to just happen to be looking when you first enter the room? Or is there a way to repeat it? Uh. Okay. I just... This looks like a job for the incredible shrinking hat. Is that the key for this chest behind me? Oh god, I lost tracking for a second. <laughs> I'm so tied down by this charger. This is uh, quite a look. Right. That was a bit more challenging. Now what is this next I'm like, trickery? Yeah, let me move back a bit so I can get closer. Sweet. Presto! Now, let's see who's hiding in here. <laughs> oh! Spooky! Thank you! Foiled! Again! Oh. <clears throat> okay. This is one spooky boy. Can I have the sword back though? The sword's kind of awesome. All right. Let me read a little chat. <clears throat> the second coin in the in the armoire was uh the secret coin. It wasn't required. Yeah, I'm hard to I'm hardwired to the wall. <clears throat> Where should I watch this cutscene from? It looks like he's facing this way. No, it doesn't want me to watch it from there. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, Mr. Stauf. I know you're here somewhere. I know you can hear me. Oh, this one lets me get pretty close. I guess because single actor. <clears throat> See, I think it is built out of polygons. It's quite good, though. Okay, now the room is all bright. Oh, do I get to keep the hats? Do I get to take them out of the room? Not that button. I can't hold both and open the door, I guess. So let's see if we can take them out of the... Nope, it drops. 
It won't let me take them. Which I guess is a good thing, and that would be a tiring mechanic over time, right? Real magic. True power. Ah, oh, it's here for the taking. Uh, nap time? Dutton. Wonder if anything else is open. Nope. This should be Dutton's room right here, right? Or was it the one here? That should be this one. I like how fast it is. Feels like it's watching me. Is this a dumb waiter? <laughs> I'm gonna lose my head if I do this. So I probably use that to get from the kitchen up here, yeah? I'm in the wall, of course. Oh god, hold on, I'm lost. I just tugged on my cable a bit. Oh, they gave birth to a little... a little Cthulhu. Cthulhu. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. I like that one. Looks like a classic Japanese horror ghost or something, right? The Grudge or something. <laughs> okay, both are funny. That's that's pretty good. I like that. I feel like that should be a meme. Or maybe the other one. Oh, this is a cool view. This must be the game room. Okay, uh, let's go back to Dutton's room. I think it was this one, right? Yeah, no chess puzzles yet. I'm sure there'll be, you know, at least one. Uh, Astro, I don't know if they put Deus Ex references into the second deal, deal. But the right deal needs the right information. Stealth must have hidden something here. I'm trying not to trigger that thing while I inspect paintings. I'm guessing I need the key. There's a keyhole here. Let's check out these paintings. A oh, whale. They have hats. Why do they get hats? It's so goofy. <laughs> Check that out soon. He's casually murdering this man. That's cool.
This painting doesn't change at all, does it? I think it's just a reflection in the eye. Uh, this looks like something important, maybe. Oh yes, it's safe. Oh man, there's a couple things to grab here. Postcards or whatever. My baby brother, under the ice. I haven't thought about him in ages. How did Stuff know? Brian! Brian! I slipped under the ice and you just looked at me. Why didn't you help your own brother? What happened to little someone, Brian? I don't remember Brian's brother. Does anyone remember Brian's brother's name? This is like lore that isn't even in the game. It's not in the seventh guest. It's in like the novel and the, I think, uh, maybe in, I think it's in the manual for the seventh guest. <clears throat> but yeah, like when they were kids, Brian, Brian's little brother fell in into the ice and Brian didn't help him. I don't remember his name though. I don't think I can do anything with this. Oh my god, so many papers. Please tell me I can't read all these. Oh no, I can read. No, no, flip it over. It's gibberish. <laughs> I think it might be a lorem ipsum. I think it might be literal gibberish. Can't. 1784. There's a chair I'm bumping into. Okay, I, I'm not meant to read all this stuff. But when the Great Depression struck, the young puppeteer fell on hard times. The towns that used to welcome him now left him out in the cold. I want to see if I can hold something while I read chat. Like, if I hit my button here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I can do this while reading your chat. So during cutscenes, I guess I'm going to switch to the OBS view so I can see what you guys can see and read chat. Nice. Globe physics. Yeah, that doesn't look like a puzzle at all, does it? Oh, there's puzzle info. Eight diamonds to flag? I'm not gonna remember that, I'll have to look at it again later. What is the kid looking at? Or what is going on? Oh, it's a dog. Oh, it's got something in its mouth, like a bird or whatever. <clears throat> That's not that dark. Uh, there was one note that I didn't read yet here. Oh god. I'll just wait until it respawns. I'm all twisted on my charger wire. What does OVR do different that my setup isn't doing? Because I just... If I hit the option button, then it opens my OBS view. Is there anything on the back of this? See, these are kind of hard to read. The arrogant Brian Dutton. Oh, 
Okay, uh, I guess it's puzzling time, right? I think I... Oh, wait. What's this paper? My first factory. Stauff's done his homework. Dutton opens Tire Factory, June 26, 1931. Successful local entrepreneur Brian Dutton, 29, opens his tire factory south of Haley at Costello Road. Automobiles are the future, and they need four tires each. Yep. And those will be Dutton tires. Wait, it says something on the edge. According to the suave young businessman. A list of the wardrobe, uh, essential her, nah, it sounds so gibberish. Let's do the thing. Progress time, let's go. Do I grab it or do I lantern it? Yeah, it's gotta be for this. Maybe. What am I close to? Stout seems to know my taste. Perhaps there's a clue in here. Huh. Can I move this? <laughs> nice! Oh, that's cool. I wonder if it's part of the puzzle, actually. Because there's a mirror here. Do I have to move this to see in the mirror? <laughs> what's that meme? How does the mirror know what's behind the jacket? <laughs> No, I'm clear. It's the same, isn't it? I did that for nothing. <laughs> but maybe it suggests that I have to do it backwards on here or something. Is this for this puzzle? Eight diamonds to flag? No. What the hell? Let's do this one first. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> I'm gonna teleport. Oh, you just tap it. So you can rotate in either direction. Swirly thingy. And then probably the same thing backwards, right? Or is that just too stupid? Like, it seems too obvious. <laughs> I keep pumping into my bounds. I'll check my batteries here, and then maybe we can unplug for a bit. No, that was it. All right. I think this goes on the fireplace thingy? No. I can see something in there. I guess that's my next puzzle, isn't it? Look at Dutton standing on the riches. I caught it on the bounce. Where does this go? Am I might be in blind? Oh. Okay. Let me put this down. It's probably gonna reset by the time I get back anyways. Let me back up. Too close. Don't bite me. Well, it bit me, but it didn't hurt. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's no good. I'm pretty sure I need to light all the tiles. 
Nah, it's screwed up already. My wire is like right in the middle of this puzzle, like this is the wire. Oh, see that there's like a wall that pops up there. Oh crap, I didn't mean to. Oh, this is impossible. I've got to make sure I pass every single tile. Oh, well, I didn't plan ahead for that, did I? There's a wall there. No. Is it not gonna. How do I reset? If you compare a donkey's intelligence with that of a pig, they're both smarter than you. Thanks. Oh, there's a wall. I don't know if you guys can see these little walls. These walls that block you from moving in those few places. Yeah, they're a little hard to see at first. Mm. No, this is not good. I was doomed anyways. It takes so long to reset. I don't know if there's gonna be anything goofy like this. No, this is a bad year already. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Then I gotta reset it. Do I have to start on the same top? Yeah, I can't pick up the piece. It's stuck to the board. I can't cut the corner either. <laughs> That'd be too easy. Oh, there's a wall right there. I didn't see that wall. I was planning to go down and then here. I would have that would have been it. I feel like they could have made these walls a little more obvious, maybe, but whatever. <clears throat> I mean it's obvious when you look at an angle. I should be looking for dead ends and trying to identify it's not it. Like, what's the most constrained spot? Hmm, they all seem kind of open. Every spot touches at least two spots. So there's nothing like super obvious last final move. So I guess the main problem is that there's a couple, or there's a bunch of pieces that only connect with pieces. Uh, instead of, yeah, but there's no, there's no explicit dead ends. 
<laughs> I got this guy looking at me the whole time. Well, I mean, this is obviously the first move, right? So you get... So after that first move, this one connects with two. This one connects with three. I, wonder, I don't think you can do diagonals. No. <laughs> you cannot do diagonals. It would probably be a lot easier. Oh, this had to be the last move. Ah, okay. Yeah, that may... I should have realized that that was supposed to be the last move at the top, because the gate at the top. Alright, so now I need to figure out what these things are for. This is a money bag. What are these gems? I want that. <laughs> my dear Mr. Titan, welcome to my house. Hello, Purple Line Gamer. Lurking from work, nice. Was that it? Or did I interrupt it by reading chat? Welcome to my house. I've watched you rise to the elite of our little town with great interest. And, and because of this, I want to offer you the following arrangement. You want to spend the night as my guest, and in exchange, I will give you your heart's most secret desire. And you know what that is, Mr. Dunn. Don't you? <laughs> but I require one thing of you. A deal. A transaction that I have set up for you. You may wonder what that deal is and... <laughs> that is all part of the game. This is all I can tell you, Mr. Dutton. In the morning, only one of my guests will walk out of this house with his or her every, every witch you'll crack in business. Henry Staff. Coin that I'm not going to use. Let me check my battery. We're at 62%. Not bad. Yeah, this game is definitely remade from the ground up. They didn't use anything from the original except, you know, story and dialogue. Um, writing. And music, the music is all remixes so far. And very good too. And yeah, Astro, these look like drawer poles, but. Oh. They're not. They're. Four, eight, one. Two coins in this room.
don't think I noticed that painting above. I can't really get a good look at it. Um, if I could reach my couch, maybe I could stand on my couch. <laughs> Things I do for you guys. This is probably not a good idea. <laughs> nah, I can't get a good look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt myself. Some cowboys. Okay, where does this thing go? I can't pull the drawer all the way out. Okay, this can't be that hard. Maybe I'm not doing this right? Maybe the shape is important. used to call old adventure games like Monkey Island. I used to say you would rub items together. This is literally me rubbing items together. Sorry, I was reading a message on my smartwatch. <laughs> it was from Astro. Okay, but seriously, where does this thing go? Yeah, I can. I could take my headset off. Um, the problem is it quickly goes into standby mode when I do that. And then you guys won't see anything. Trying to tell me next to the safe is something. Do you want those in your eye? Wait, can I open this? No. It's very fancy. Okay, why is it so hard to find what I'm supposed to put this on? What gives? I'm not supposed to leave the room, am I? I wouldn't imagine so. I bet if I open this, I'm gonna drop the item. Yeah, there it goes. This isn't even a big room. Nice sound effect. Oh, 
Oh wait, do I put them together? No. What even are these? Maybe let's just do this puzzle first. That'd probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? Oh god. How do I even... Okay, at least I can let go of the thing. I didn't even take a look at this, but... I think I need eight diamonds. This is quite a maze. I already flipped, I already flipped up, didn't I? Yeah, that. I can't go back that way. Wait, I can? Okay. So this one needs to be the last one. Which means I need to come from this way. There's a lot of paths on this thing. Oh, I can rotate it. Okay, so I don't need to move all around it like a crazy person. That's good. Um, that's not right. That's not it. Do this way. Down. How many diamonds did I get already? Is that most of them? What am I missing? I think that's it. Oh, what do you know? Gimme. Great, another thing I don't know what to do with. This is the hardest part of the game. Do you want more? Yummy. So I have three of them. Is that all of them? Or is there still another? I don't know what that's trying to tell me. The safe and then vacation? Am I doing anything with you? <laughs> Let me read chat. This is too long. Wait. Rub those items together. No. Oh. Slide the painting? Yeah, maybe. Oh my god. There's the safe. Thank you. That's where Stout's been hiding his secrets. Yeah, that painting does look... Yeah, okay, the palm tree, the palm tree. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, 
I never put that together. Um, are these different? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's just the... Let's go. Put that on there. Let's teleport because I'm getting sick. <laughs> It's a puzzle. Um, how does this work? Just have to hit a button. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. What the? All right. That's not it, Professor. Okay. Do I need to get into the center, or do I need to get it... Okay, no. I need to get it, um, down here. Oh, that's a reset point. Oh, it's not gonna drop in there. need to pick the right path and avoid the pitfalls. I'm so close, I can... <laughs> Does he mean literally the right path? Okay, so these don't all rotate everything. I'm not even sure how the mechanics of that work, but... If I can do like this... Okay. Come on. There we go. If I can do like this kind of thing... Oh, damn it. I forgot about that hole. I guess there's no way around this piece. I need to go on the left side. You lied to me. Or I probably need to come down here. Let me see. Yeah, see, because there's another hole here. So I need to come down here to the center, or from here to the center. I need to cross through the center to get to the next spot. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You haven't beaten me yet. Oh God, I'm standing in the cutscene. Hold on, dude. I want to see what you got in here. Wonderworld Toys and Puzzles. Henry A. Stoff, proprietor. Internal Operations, 1925. Quite a book. And money. Yes. Oh, yes. Money. $50 bills. This uh, would have been a lot of money. Oh, how many nights at that hotel could you get with this much money? At the Heine Hotel. You guys think there might be a coin in here? Nah, I guess not. Let's do the cutscene. Wait, let me read chat first. This would have been early 30s, I think. 
right? Or is it 20s? I can't remember now. 20s or 30s. Oh, come on. Do the thing. Where do you want me to stand? Do I need to stand in here? <laughs> there we go. South Toys Internal Operations, 1925. <laughs> the old fool. Trade secrets. No wonder he kept them in a safe. Blank pages. What in God's name? Oh. That's what I wanted to stand here. So that's why they wanted me to stand here to activate the cutscene because of that. Yeah, I think the videos look good. I mean, you can stand pretty close to them and they still look alright. Uh, okay, so we're done with this room. Finally. <laughs> Can't believe I kept reading that hint wrong. Stout secrets will be mine. It's like one of those AI arts where they have like weird hands and stuff. Well, I guess you could do that. But uh, I didn't check the map. But, here we go, we got a room. What room is this? Nox? Whoa. Nice fucking model. <laughs> Late bills. Holy crap, $3,561? He's been eyeing the company, he knows all about our financial troubles. December 18th again. Interesting. I like how the paper is solid. It's okay, paper physics are hard. Alright, we got ourselves a math puzzle here. Strange toys. Seems like Stauf is up to his old tricks. That's the Edward Knox voice actor. Well, very red. Demon baby. What is he holding? Bones! He's holding bones! This one's blank? Blank painting? Oh, that's not creepy at all. Jesus Christ. No thank you. We got the box here. The voice box. I don't even know what to call them. But look at this model! How cool. Bugs. I'm doing my part. We got two thingies here. Okay, let me finish look at the paintings and then I'm gonna take a break again because I need a break. <laughs> Something there. Oh boy. Coin. I guess the coins are an interesting mechanic, because if you get really stuck on a puzzle, then you need to go exploring to find the coin. 
I mean, anyone can explore, right? Unless you're me and you don't realize you can move the painting over. We'll check that soon. Oh my. Oh, this one's a C. This one's an E. I don't think I can do anything with these. Um, anything else? Huh. It's a comptometer. Just like the one I have at the office. I don't know what this is about. It's gibberish. Mostly. Okay, so we've looked at everything. We'll do the music box after I take a break. You read chat a bit. Yeah, Landros Bank. Good old Rob Landros. Is my cursor on the... Oh, no, no, no. That's, that's my cursor on OBS. I was going to say, has my cursor been on the stream the whole time? But no. Just on my end. Okay, yeah, let me take a break. I'll be right back.
Hello! Alright. Sorry, that break did take a little while. Let me put on my controller straps. And let's get back to this with this creepy doll right here. Jesus. We gotta listen to this audio box. I wonder if I should do anything before then. Am I at floor height? There we go. <laughs> my floor height was all wrong. Alright, we got everyone. We all ready to go? Let's do this. My dear Mrs. Knox, I'm so glad you joined us. It must have been a trying time for you and your Edmund. And because of this, I offer a most interesting proposition. A simple task. Child's play, if you will, in exchange for your heart's deepest desire. When all the guests have gathered, you must figure out what it is that I want. It's a puzzle, Mrs. Knox. <laughs> and, and mind you, the others are also working on the same task. It may all depend on who has the greatest need. Or oh, who? He didn't but say it. Clues throughout this house as to what must be done. The house is alive with clues. Hoping to meet you in the flesh, I remain your host, Henry Stuff. Well, he finally said in the flesh. There we go. He didn't say who's the bravest, though. That's a little disappointing. Oh, yeah, the laugh in the kitchen dining room. Oh, let me adjust my straps real quick. Get this thing in my face. Let me check my battery, too. I was charging it for a bit. Sixty-two percent, not bad. Can we do anything with this? Oh god. Oh, look at you! Aren't you adorable? <laughs> Can I fix it? Can you like screw it on or something? Get in there. <laughs> Well, that's great. Can I, like... No. Done with that guy. Forget that. Um, okay, so they both have cards here. <laughs> what kind of picture is that? Selfish Edward Knox. I don't know what that says. I wish I had subtitles. Wait, does this game have subtitles? Do VR games have subtitles? <laughs> I feel like subtitles would be pretty awkward in VR, but, uh... Ah, oh, man. I could have had that on the whole time. Jeez. So now can we read these? <laughs> it doesn't help anyways. Yeah, I didn't see anything else, so... Well, at least I enabled subtitles, so... Actually, you know what? I'm curious to see how they work. My dear Mrs. Knox, oh, how cool. So glad you us. Can you guys even it see that? Here we go. I gotta, like, whip it up. Play, if you will, in exchange for your heart's deepest desire. When all the 
guests have gathered. You must figure out what it is that I want. It's a puzzle, Mrs. Knox. <laughs> and mind you, the others are also working on the same task. It may all depend on who has the greatest need, or who has the sharpest fit. There are clues throughout this house as to what must be done. The house is alive with clues. Hoping to meet you in the flesh, I remain your host, Henry Stuff. In the flesh. Nice throw, you guys see that? Um, okay, so we got multiple puzzles here. This looks like this goes with this puzzle. Don't ask me how I figured that one out. <laughs> so we've got a couple bricks here. Just like your ABCs. I didn't look at these tickets. Can't really. This day only. I'm not sure what it's for. A train ticket, maybe? Oh, yeah, we got this puzzle. Okay, so we got three puzzles in the room again, it would seem. And then probably more environmental stuff, like sliding a painting or whatever. Is there any... Well, let's just see what happens. Oh. Wait. Is that good? A, C, E. Well, you can't stack them on top of each other. I don't understand. Is this just guessing and checking? It's gotta be more to it. Oh, wait. Oh. A. Yes, thank you. The Atlanta. Oh god. I don't know why that happens. A little bit. Okay, so A is the only one it gave me, right? I hope these positions don't reset on these. I need I need them to not move around the room. They have some kind of art on them or something. The movement has to be meaningful, right? It can't move for no reason, that would be silly. This was a leg. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I'm just going to say they're legs. Is it supposed to sell something? Uh, spell something? E, like, what, what could you even spell with these letters? Ace? And that's it? I mean, this one's still, like, that one's obvious because it's labeled, right? Unless it's lying to me. Let's see. Oh my god. Just give me the... Oh 
is the sound of the lantern itself, I guess. They're swans. Oh, I guess so. Geese. I don't... Now, are there any other scribbles in this room? I guess not. Okay, so why does the A go here? What is special about this spot? We're going to start with the number puzzle first. More snakes. A train set. Stealth? Really? Okay, that one should be interesting. Can't open that. I thought I looked from all the sides already. I can't like I can't place the lantern down, so I let me step back and reset myself. E was the other piece. I don't really understand this puzzle. Was there a piece in the train station? I didn't see anything in here. 
Oh, oh, okay, there's the B. Yeah, okay, so they're linked puzzles. It's a B, though. It's not an F, unless there's more. Is it base? Base for your face? Cave? B. Okay, well, I mean, if there's one in there, there might be one in... There might be one in the other puzzle, too. Right? Do you think this number is related to this puzzle? Three, five, six, one, nine. So, like. <laughs> oh, the lantern makes it a lot easier to read. Uh. Okay, so it does it does carry. Three, five, six, one, nine, one. Oh. <laughs> it's a little hard to actually hit these accurately. I should use my other hand for this side. Ah, but then I can't see. <laughs> Uh, I need a nine there. I don't that have a no. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. How can he possibly have that letter? A D. I think he's talking about that letter, right? Not the letter D. <laughs> Alright, let's slap the hope bad boy down there so it doesn't get lost. Now let's do the train. I still don't know what C A. I don't know what it's going to spell, but whatever. Let's get this first. Oh, you know, it's going to start with the A, isn't it? It's... No, because it's... I was thinking it would, it would spell something across, but that's only four letters. We're going to have five letters. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, now what is this puzzle supposed to be? Like, what the... We need the 11th hour train music. Dun, dun. The tracks. I need to change. Okay, wait. I need to... Can I... Let me get centered really good. Oh, okay. There we go. I thought I was going to have to flick it. So wait, what's the goal here? Did I link? I don't think, uh... <laughs> it made the toot sound. Oh, nice. The other way. Okay, so I can't... I can't push or pull these pieces. I need to go forwards. Carriages. They need to be in the correct order. Okay, what do you guys do? You guys do anything? I can't seem to interact with the puzzle directly. I think it's all just these controls. Which... 
confuses me because now I don't know how to connect how to connect to these trains, these cars. And this thing is finicky. I wish it didn't require me to move it so far. I mean, I get it. One, two, three, four. That's three. That's two. That's four. That's one, the little one. But I, I can't figure out how to move them. Like, what are the controls in this puzzle? Is this puzzle hard for you guys to see? Am I looking the right way? Because I, I feel like on stream I need to like look down to really see it. Yeah, I don't quite understand. Okay, these power cables must do something. Right? Or is that just the the way you finish them? <laughs> Where do these wires go? No, they don't go anywhere. Am I missing something really dumb? Do I just not know enough about trains to do this? Well, okay. I... I would need to back into that one to, to do it. Oh my god. The coal car is one. Okay. So I just don't know trains enough. So I need... Okay. So I need the coal car first. Thank you. I guess it makes sense I would need one first, but I would have thought that'd be part of the completion, not part of the start. No, see, I need to turn around, though. I need to... can't cross through there. Uh-oh, Okay, there we go. We got this. I still don't know why... Never mind. This, this control, I wish it was just like... The F and the B should be wider, the neutral should be smaller. Can we... Okay, good. Okay, so I don't drop it off, I connect the next car. Um, which means I need this direction, right? Three is this one. Wait. If I back up, I'm gonna be facing the wrong way. I need to I need to turn around on this side. Same way I did before. Now I need four. Um, wait, which way do I need four? Four is facing forwards, right? It's not facing backwards. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, the, the number four looks that way.
Can I just roll this all the way? Now it's backwards. <laughs> I can fix that like this, I think. Ha! Yay! Alright, so we have a B now. It looks the same on, as the others on the sides. So I don't know what the deal is. Ped? Is it literally ABC? <laughs> Is this puddle puzzle literally as easy as ABC? Did I did I do it? It can't be that easy, right? Okay, so it's steps of one, but it needs to be when the lantern is on it, I think. Which means this needs to be here. And this needs to be here. No? Well, I know when I've solved it. <laughs> Does it need to be solved in both? Because in that case, this B... Oh my god. Give me the B. Really hard to grab the individual one you want. There we go. This B needs to be here, right? Hmm, I'm gonna guess this one. I didn't remember. Wait. Okay. No, it didn't like that. It needs to be... Was this one too far? It keeps making the good sound, but does it like diagonals? No. Okay, yes. that was it. I solved it. Thank you. I just needed them to all be close enough. Well, Stealth mentioned a proposition. Let's see. What was his message again? I gotta pump the subtitles up for you guys. Sometimes these things are a little finicky to trigger. Like, maybe I gotta stand over here. Okay, yeah. Stealth knows too much. The debts. But how? Perhaps he wants to help us. Our heart's deepest desire. <laughs> what? There! What? There, where, don't you see? The blood! There's nothing there. Eleanor! Eleanor! There's nothing! Eleanor, we have to win this prize money. Do, do, do you want to see me locked up by our creditors? Do you? Now, shape up, Eleanor. No more of your spells. Not today. Just And we solved the room. Hey, it's seven o'clock. New rooms are available. Let me get the charger back in for a bit, since we're going to be exploring a new room a little, I guess. This guy. 
Stav must help us out. He must. Okay, well, you know what? I kind of want to look at the map. So we've done everything we can do in the second floor. We do the we do the library. There might be something in the foyer. Guess we can only do the library. It's time for the all guest cutscene, maybe. That's what I would expect. Gathering of the guests. Let's go. That's new. Something there. Should look around a bit. Don't you wish that this night could just last forever? Yeah, actually. <laughs> this is different. I mean, stuff is different too, but. Where'd. Where'd this one go? That one too. Oh! Oh my god. Um. How many rooms did we do? I guess these represent the rooms, right? We did two on this side. Did we do three on this side already? Maybe the one of those is the dining room. A new record! Yeah, I think I'm... I'm freeing them, but I don't think it's one per puzzle, because I've done a lot more than five puzzles, right? Each room has had, like, three puzzles already. So I think it's per room cleared. Well, let's grab the record. Let me check this side of the upstairs real quick. Nothing here. All right, let's get out of here. We'll listen to our record, and then we'll check out the library. Oh! Can I... I gotta switch hands to bring out the lantern. Do I watch it from up the stairs? Probably not. Uh oh. Oh, oh careful, miss. <sighs> Martine. Oh. Uh... I'm sorry. Edward, is it? He's... Yes. So I seem to be a bit turned around. Understandable. <laughs> Uh, everyone has retired to their rooms with a plan to rendezvous in the library at, at, at eight. A stutter. How charming. Since I was a How child. charming. Hmm. Well, it's nothing to be ashamed of. At least you've got the brains for these puzzles. I'm just a dopey little actress. Sure, you're very talented. <laughs> Say, why don't we form a team? Your intellect and my charisma. I'll give it a think, sugar. I'll await your answer in my room after the library rendezvous, where it's nice and private. <laughs> oh my god! That was not a nice neck crack right there. P -p -p private. Alright, record time, let's go. I am close to the wall, hold on. If you feel the need to reflect, my own personal library is at your disposal. It is right across the hall, opposite the dining room, but I've been doing a, a spot of redecorating, so things may be a bit out of place. Oh, it even says I've completed five rooms. So yeah, those pictures near stuff were the number of rooms that I've completed. Let me check chat real quick. Very normal, yes. Library time, let's go. Is this new? This little... I don't know what to call them. Ghastly appendages coming out of the library door? I wonder if that's new, if that's like the hint that you need to come here. Oh, look at the library, guys. Holy crap.
Okay, so do we get the all cuts the all guest cup scene right now or another room to explore? Let's go. Look at this kid. look at the nose! That is quite a nose. Dun, dun, dun. Does this phone work too? Put it back on the hook. Feeling lonely. Lonely. Don't you hate it when your life goes dead? <laughs> That's good enough. That's probably gonna be something to watch. That clock is uh suspicious. I guess this book is nothing. <laughs> it's a cool painting. I feel like Stoff Mansion fan is gonna have a field day identifying all the paintings in this game. If you guys don't follow Stoff Mansion fan on YouTube, you really need to. A library without books? Unlikely. Oh yeah, there's something going on here. A library without books. Yeah, not too many books in here. I mean, there's definitely a few books. This doesn't appear to be a magic hat. I can't wear it. Can open these. If I had room to open them, nothing. Okay. Checking stuff's mail right now. Nothing good. Uh, well, this is a thing, but it. Looks Wait, important. Like so. I can move the weights of the clock. Oh. Okay, so this might be a puzzle. My lantern is stuck in the door. Uh, let's check out everything else first. This guy again? Rip. Can I spin this globe too? Wait, I can... Oh, it's one of these! And there's a coin in here. I think I'm close to my counter. Ding! Take this one. I can't even grab it properly. I can't even grab it by the bottom. There we go. I think it's locked. I probably need a thingy to put in the thing and then, yeah. Well, I'm keeping this. It's a trilobite. They have a trilobite. Does the magnifying glass work? No way. Ah, oh, it's too bad. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. Some insects. Oh, 
So the Roman numerals appear when I light on it, and it says three and four. Right? It says three and four? What? Like, I'm not sure why. This is just a regular map. <laughs> This one's a doodle. <laughs> can I flip the light switch? Oh my god, I can! Wait a minute. Doesn't appear to do anything, though. Okay, I guess, uh, let me read chat real quick, and then we can start puzzling. We used to have a globe drink thing at work, at the office. The, uh, the sysadmins had one. Okay, so I think we start with the clock. I don't really want to drop my pipe, but I'm probably going to have to. Well then, let's go for three and four, right? Three? I wonder how accurate this one needs me to be. Three and four. Did I do it? Do I have to close it to confirm or what? I didn't do it, guys. I thought I had it. Okay, that was backwards. What do you know? This for that. Big surprise, it's a puzzle. There they are. It's a furniture puzzle. But now, how to get them to their proper place? I wonder if I can do this puzzle one handed. Well, that's a little scary. I wonder if I can crush myself. Books! There's a chair back there. There's Okay, I see. There's like obstructions, so I have to like... Like, am I supposed to block the clock? Or... Is there something back there? Did we look at that painting? I should have used teleport. Yeah, we looked at this painting. Now, does it specify a goal? Okay, I see that the dots match the dots. So the bookshelf has to go up here. Okay. What happens if I rotate this while the... Yeah, see, I can't rotate it while that's there. So... Tape built at once. Oh, but I can't fit them past. Um. No. 
and uh Oh, I should have looked at them. They're backwards. Or, well, one of them is backwards. Sorry, that was like... That was probably really hard to follow. <laughs> um... Yeah, <laughs> that's probably really hard for you guys to follow just because I'm like manipulating things and I don't know, whatever. I mean, it's not that complicated a puzzle. You could kind of see what's going on, right? Dark Shocks, welcome. Uh, this is this is not the 11th hour sliding puzzle. This is like an actual human sol sliding puzzle. So. It's all right. Now, in seventh guess, we watch all guests from the door. These bookcases were moving by themselves. And yes. earlier, a skeleton came alive right before my very eyes. I saw blood. Well, I was in my room getting my beauty rest. Perhaps you should do the same. All I saw was <laughs> dusty Wrecked. bedroom. In need of a cleaning service. Oh, don't look at me. I didn't see anything. Oh, I'm bored. I'm going to the kitchen. Maybe I can find a talking skeleton that'll pour me a drop of the hard stuff. Wait! <laughs> we shouldn't go walking alone. We might be in danger. If you've read anything about Mr. Stout's dogs... Oh, tell me you don't believe in that gossip. There's no danger. This is just a harmless little party. Even if the house was haunted, I could print it for myself. This is a game. Nothing more. One of us is going to win that prize money. I say, every man for himself. It may Poor be woman. a game. He didn't say it in this game. But only Stealth knows the rules. New rooms available. Eight o'clock. Does this game end at midnight? Are we like flying through this game? I didn't even check this thing yet. I think this game's pretty great. It's super well done. Yeah, at least there's no piano. <laughs> no, I mean, I think this game's great. The, um, the actors are good, the, the tech is great, like the graphics and the volumetric videos and stuff. The music, man, these remixes are awesome. I want, like, a copy of the soundtrack. I was actually looking on Steam to see if you could buy the soundtrack, but I didn't see it, so... Without an audience, Henry Stauff the puppeteer became destitute. Forced to sell his puppets for a pittance, he started looking for jobs. But there were none, and no one would take the outsider in. I mean, yeah, the puzzles aren't as hard, but did you really expect 11th hour difficulty? Like, in 2023, nobody wants to make a puzzle game as hard as the 11th hour this today. It wouldn't sell. People would, people would, like, totally hate the game. And yeah, that's another issue. Like, if you were taking, like, an hour or more to do a puzzle in VR, you'd, you'd probably have a lot of people getting sick. Um, and the trade-off is, is that this game has more puzzles, right? Like, there's three puzzles per room compared to one for the other games. And you get... Yeah. I mean, there's definitely a lot more puzzles, so that makes up for it a bit. Now, let's see what new stuff we got in here. It's probably a coin in one of these, right? Can I... Can I punch it open? There's a key!
Um, I wonder if I even get the key in this room. Well, most items you can't carry across rooms, so... Key is probably in this room. I didn't even know this circle. <laughs> I didn't even realize the circle thing was visible here. Dun, 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 dun. Where is the key? Is it too late to get the key? Did I screw up? Can I open these? Oh my god. So many things to look at. This is like the dockyard in Deus Ex where you gotta check all the little cabinets. Interesting, this one has a keyhole, but it's not locked. A coin! Yay. Okay, um... Where is this key? Hmm... They wouldn't put it up here, would they? That'd be rude to short people. <laughs> Under the cabinets. You missed the library puzzle? It was a furniture shuffling puzzle with the real furniture of the room. It was cool. I mean, it was easy, but... It was also probably difficult to watch on stream what I was thinking and doing. Here we go. Nope. You can even tell the texture is low res. You can tell it's not interactable because it's pixelated. <laughs> Where is this key? What if it's just, like, trolling me? What if there is no key? What if this never opens, right? I mean, there's nothing valuable in there. I can see that. Except that elephant that looks pretty sweet. I think I've just been trolled. Can't open these. I, I guess we'll leave... Oh, I don't want to replay. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a crouch button. I don't use it though because uh, I crouch in real life instead. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm done in this room. I think the key was just a troll. Either that or I've missed it. Some party. Pathetic. There's a new record. I guess we'll listen to the record and then we'll check the map. Oh, do I view this from behind or from in front? I feel there's someone else with us. Not a spirit. A seventh. Someone frightened. A seventh? That's a gift. Edward refers to them as my spouse. He says I'm hysterical, but it's not my imagination, it's... Oh, my dear, I understand. More than most. But what Edward wants, isn't it? But what do you want? I lost my pipe! Maybe my gift could help people. I've always liked children. Edward and I never... I should lie down. Allow me to escort you upstairs. I will be in the game room, playing cards. The game room. You'd like some company. You know where to find me.
Look at all these cutscenes I can repeat on the floor. One, two, three, four. Just here. Alright. Oh, we gotta revive the record. What is this symbol? Is it an H? Like a really exotic looking H? And like an S in the middle? Is that what it is? H and like S across? Is it a maze? It's like a circle maze? Alright, alright. Let's listen to this. I'm still angry I lost my pipe. Because they don't let you carry items between my rooms. Guests, Harley on the Hudson's finest. Please feel free to use the downstairs kitchen if you're feeling a little peckish. And I think you'll find the upstairs game room is most entertaining. After all, you can never have too many games. <laughs> if only we could play forever. And ever, and ever, and ever, <laughs> and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. I'm going to the kitchen because I gotta see if there's soup, right? Come on. Stop look different. Whoa. Oh, this house just gets under my skin. Stay calm, Hamilton. It's all an illusion. So we have six now. Instead of five. Yes, I'm going down the stairs Something backwards. Something inside me told me to come to the house that night. I don't know why. I just had to. Red balloon. Yeah, I mean, the game room's good too, but... Let's check the kitchen, kitchen first. Did something just move over there? Over where? <laughs> See, there's ghostly thingies coming out of this door now. I think... Yeah, I think the... The doors for the rooms you need to solve have these little thingies. So you don't really need to use the map, I guess. But... Storage room. Huh. No work room. Okay, so Martin, game... Let's do it. Chuck him into the soup! Look at that big pot of soup. Close the door. Oh, the dumbwaiter. It's locked. Maybe it will be useful at some point. Magic bookcases, living skeletons? Ridiculous. Mm. Now, where does Stauff keep the wine? And where is Stauff, for that matter? Mm. 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 Not bad, but it needs a little something. He needs chuck. Chuck him into the soul. Chuck roast. That's pretty cool. What's this brew? Oh. Soup? Soup's on. I probably have to do a puzzle or something to wake it up. So I need 15-year-old wine, I assume that's what it means. Onions, pepper, ground beef, chuck, chuck beef. Oh, okay, later, Dark Shocks. OK, 
Okay, well there's the pepper I need. Oh, which can of what do I need? It doesn't tell me what can I need, it just says 15 year old wine. Oh, okay, this is a puzzle, a scale puzzle. Um, which I can't, oh, I can't access it. I'll get to that soon. A phone! Is this gonna do the thing? Feeling disconnected. Yeah, it does the thing, every phone. I mean, there could be a coin in here, right? Maybe? It's a little difficult to get to, though, so maybe not. I'm gonna hit something. It's interesting the doorknob even goes down that far. Usually the locked doors don't twist the doorknob like that. That onion I need, what is this? Is this frozen, it's frozen something useful? Plate. Am I supposed to eat this? Hmm. Okay, well, I need this, so I'm gonna as well chuck it into the soup. Oh no. Come here. Hey, why isn't it throwing? Maybe I should throw it sideways. It really doesn't want me to chuck it into the soup. I'll just put it in. Yeah, the skybox isn't great. Um, here's my. The needs, here's my beef. It needs to be a certain shape. Oh my god! <laughs> what? How does that even make sense? I'm gonna grind it in. Like a cylinder, like a sausage. Okay. Uh, we'll get back to that. We gotta do every other things first. Oh, okay, I didn't need... Wait. Sure. That was it's... not the right sort of onion. Okay, so I do need specifically red onions, like this one. Jesus Christ, careful with that cleaver, I almost dropped it on my toes. And that makes two. Give me the cleaver. Yes! Fifteen. Oh, here- okay, so we get the wine from a puzzle. I don't need apples, do I? Some mushrooms. Pumpkin. Here we go. Need that. Alright, let's uh, watch the thingy. As Stauff's money ran out, he went to his bank, but they refused to give him a loan. With nothing left to barter with, he resorted to begging, ignored by all. No one spared him a dime. And the warm summer breeze turned into a cold winter gale. Soap. We have soap. Can I... Wait. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, Skybox could have used some work. <laughs> oh well. Coin. Oh, whatever. I claim the coin. 
That's pretty good physics. Okay. Pretty good hitboxes for these non-important things. Yeah, not bad. Okay, well I guess the only thing I can do is the beef. Oh, I can do this. I'll put this down. Get it out of my way. I could probably only put three on each, right? So, like, I could do this? Yeah, okay. This. This one's still too heavy. It's like so picky. I am far from my charger. So, this one's still too heavy, isn't it? Oh, this one's a six? Well, let's just try this and see what happens. It's probably too much. Yeah, the six was too much. Hmm. Did all the scales need to be balanced? <laughs> I heard something. Obviously. Actually, I wonder if this is just a math problem. Is this just straight up addition? Because, like, that's not hard. <laughs> um. So let's see, we got six, then we got three threes, we got nine, fifteen. Wait, that can't be right. Yeah, okay. We have fifteen, twenty, twenty-four, thirty. So we have thirty in total. So we just need ten on each, which means this six is not appropriate. We need um I need a four. Where's the four? Oh, that's the four. Okay, no. We can't do the four then. We need like a three, four, five, and five. I keep hearing stuff moving, but... Is that seven? That's nine. Um... There we go. Yeah, it was just a math puzzle. Yeah, I kept hearing it move too, but I think it was just moving up and down as the scales adjusted. I don't think it ever fully completed. I didn't really look at it though. Man, this thing looks spicy. A little bit of spice will give it more flavor. Alright. Now we have to make a, a cylinder of meat. <laughs> um, with some weird... Tetris. Can you guys see this? How do I do this? Oh my god, I can puncture. Wait. I don't think I'm supposed to... How am I supposed to maneuver this puzzle? <laughs> like, is this... Or am I supposed to assemble it before I... No, things click in place in this game. They don't... There's no give on them. How... I could probably spin this, right? No? Huh. Yeah, I'm looking at these pieces and it doesn't look like they can... 
It doesn't look like they can go without being skewered, but the game seems resistant to let me do that. Okay. Uh, I gotta be doing something wrong here. Take a step back. We could do this one first. So what do I have to do here? This one must be the 15, the locked, the one that's locked in here. I don't, uh... There's two in there. Get in there. What? Oh my god, they appear here. <laughs> so I'm assuming I can put these back in, right? Okay, yeah, it just kind of takes them from me. Well, at first glance, now I would think each set needs to add up to 15, but that's obviously wrong because you have 5 and 8 here already. I mean, come on. And six, like. Oh, it's... okay. So 1, 6, and 8 is 15. 5, 3 is a... Uh, 8, so I need... Wait. Why can't I math right now? 8, I need a... 7. But I think it needs to be a cross as well, right? I mean, 6 and 2 is 8, plus, yeah, I mean, it's the same. So this one's probably right. This one's gonna be the... This one might be the one I need to do first, actually, because it's gonna be more strict. Although this one will be easier. Maybe I should do this one first so it eliminates the possibilities, because I don't know if this... It's not gonna have multiple answers, so... Um, this one just needs an 8, right? So it's like a Sudoku kind of thing. Yeah, it's basically like Sudoku, right. Let's see... Four. So, like, this could be 9 and 2 to get 15 across, right? And then we have 13, 15, 15. 
We don't have any twos remaining. We need to change this. Oh, I don't want to drop you. Get in there. Get it later. Oh, I didn't even notice they had cool liquid physics like a uh, like in Half-Life Alex. Uh, I wanted the nine. Wait, did I want? No, I didn't want the nine. I wanted the, the four. It has to be the two. So we have four. Wait, I can't do fifteen vertically. This can't be a nine then. Hold this here. Eight, eight. I only have nines left. This is four. So this can't be right. I need. There's the red wine I need. Did I do this one right? <laughs> Wait, does this need... No, I can't be 15 vertically, obviously. I mean, that one's right. This one... This one's right. I mean, this is, I don't really have many choices here. The wine bottles all have numbers on them. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> this one's what, a two? So it's six. Well, at least that one works. Six. Get in there. Oh my god. They could have made this a little easier. There we go. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Uh, so do we just throw this in the soup? Like, do I pour it or just do I just the throw it? <laughs> I just put a bottle in there. Yeah, whatever. We'll stir it up a bit. It's all good. <laughs> You just put the bottle inside the soup. Okay. Um, now this one. Now we get to figure out the controls for this puzzle. Can I do stuff like that? Wait, is it spaced? Come back. Uh, how's my battery? Can I unplug? <laughs> Sixty three. 63%. I will unplug for now. Whew. 
I cannot unskewer, but that's typical for this game that the that the pre-existing pieces are typically correct already. Well, except in that wine puzzle, obviously. Um, I mean, you're right. I was able to skewer it once. I feel like I was just glitching past it, though. I don't feel like it was real. <laughs> Wait, come here. What if I got a hammer in? <laughs> That'd be a little ridiculous. It's just it's just beef, like. <laughs> I don't think that's how a meat tenderizer is meant to be used. <laughs> um Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It like Typically in this game, if you're holding an object and it falls into place, it'll steal it from your grip. You don't need to, like, work hard to get a piece in place, usually. That's why I'm thinking you do it from the side, maybe, but... Yeah, maybe you do do it from the top. Okay, well, how many pieces do I have? Like, what's my plan here? Probably not that one. I need something that... See, and then it resets it. That's a pain. I can't, like, pre-plan them. I need to just do it. Am I missing a piece of beef? Like, what's... <laughs> what's the deal here? And how big is this... Cylinder supposed to be this sausage. That's not going to match the curve. not right. Is this going to be the hardest puzzle in the game? <laughs> Arranging beef? I kind of wish these were gridded, like if they had a grid drawn on them. This one just appeared in my, <laughs> in my beef. Like that almost looks like it. Oh, the curve isn't right though. Maybe it's like this. Well, drop the beef. Don't worry, we'll cook it. It'll be clean enough. Yeah, this definitely looks like a... Oh my god, it just snaps in. 
Oh. I like the sound it made too. Does this fit here? No, it's too... It sticks out too far. It's gotta be this one. There we go. Kinda had the wrong angle, but whatever. Well, now it's easy. Cut out hole goes probably on top of this one. This one probably goes first. Uh -uh. This way. It is a little finicky, I gotta say. I dropped the meat, guys. I'm gonna wait for it to respawn now. There we go. Because I'm not gonna go over there to get it. Alright, well. The controls are pretty finicky, but it works. Do I need to grind the beef? Yeah! Do I need a uh, crank? Let's find it. Can I open these now? A banana! Gross. Where is this thing? Another chest that doesn't open, how interesting. Oh, come on, where is this thing? <laughs> ah. Is it in the sink? <laughs> Is it dirty? Why would this be difficult to find? Or am I misunderstanding the mechanics of a meat grinder? <laughs> I'm gonna try just hitting it in. Come on, get in there! <laughs> I tried, I tried. Yeah, where is this thing? Why is this the difficult part? I mean, the controls were pretty difficult, too. It shouldn't have been that hard, though. I'd... What about this? Can't do anything with it. Oh my god. Uh, well, that explains it. Henry Stoff, huh? what do you know? I guess it makes sense. I did see on the map that this room was unlocked already. Whoa, I just went out of bounds. Okay.
By the way, that clicking sound is a lantern. It keeps distracting me. Every time I hear it, I think there's like something, and it's like, no, that's the button I clicked. Yeah, little piggy, piggy, piggy. <laughs> What am I gonna hit? <laughs> I can't grab that. I can grab the cleaver. That's what I need. That looks suspicious. Fresh dairy. Yeah, they're not gonna put anything like that. Well, I got the thing. What's this? What is this? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna take it. I'm probably gonna lose it with a timeout if I need to do something else. Like, I didn't check what's here, but I guess it's nothing. Oh man. I'll come back. I'll come back. Oh, see, I can't even open the door while holding this. Oh, wait a minute. I lost the grinder. I don't... I think it's a puzzle. I don't think I can take it across rooms that... that easily. I need to throw it somewhere or something. Maybe I can, like... Maybe not throw it, though. See, like, what's down here? I'm guessing I get there later. What is this? Is this a... Is it a doorstop? Is that the solution in the puzzle? <laughs> Another meat grind... Uh, meat uh, tenderizer. Yeah, you might be right. This might not be for the meat grinder. Maybe I need this for something else. Hello. Mm. Am I gonna die? He's got a seven on him. Am I gonna die if I grab this coin? Got it. <laughs> Sucker. For the record, I don't think that spider would have actually done anything. Maybe I should try to pet it. There we go. You guys think this is important? Eighteen eighty one, huh? What does that mean? Is that supposed to be his birth year, but there's no death year? I don't get it. Or maybe that's... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, a coin. Let go. Oh, I can't take the thing with me in here either. This place eh, smells house. bad. Like something rotten. I bet it does. Look at the toilet paper. Did toilet paper look like that back then? Yeah, I'll say. <sighs> Do I need to fix the pipes? <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, I can lift this? Gross. Alright guys, we're going in the toilet. Let's bring our toilet paper, I guess. There's a coin in here. Do I really want this coin? Is it even worth it? Disgusting. Reading material that I can't read. Um, so this room is only for the coin, it would appear. Oh, that's interesting. Those are not movable. Soap. Number one car. Can I grab it? Yeah, I can. Vroom vroom. <laughs> I can mess with the pigs. That's great. Doesn't seem useful though. Another coin. Just, just give me a coin. Man, there's a lot of coins in this game. This lamp is still suspicious. How do I use this thing? Well, I might as well check if I can open this, even though it looks the same as the other chest. Nope. Maybe they open later? All those chests? <laughs> can I... I attach you two together in some way. Big saw. Am I not supposed to be here yet? Because I don't really see anything to do. No, I can't do like a item drop or anything. I really just need to grind this beef. <laughs> You're a little suspicious, but... Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, I don't have any chat commands. It, yeah. Astro, you're a mod. You should be able to paste the Discord link in there. The, the Stoff's Mansion Discord link. You can get it from the title. It's also hidden on modsforever.com under the ScumVM section. The link to the Discord. I realize putting it in the title is not convenient for people on mobile. I think it's fine on desktop, though. Wait, can I open this? No? No. Maybe it's in here? I don't think I... 
Fully looked in here. What is this? Is this what I need? This is what I need. So how do I heat it up? Do I just chuck it into the soup? What's this brew? Soup? Not bad, but it needs a little something. Not bad, that looked disgusting. Did I get my item? Oh, it's here. Man, why is it here? It should have popped out of the soup. Alright, well that was a puzzle. Yeah, they could have made that a little more obvious. I don't know. Wait, I'm gonna watch it. One meatball. Really? That's how it comes out? Up. Oh. Huh, you can't easily pass it between your hands. I'm trying to make it a little more spherical, you know? Yeah, let's chuck it into the soup. Now it's a proper brew. Oh boy, thanks! No! It's tough. It's not a fan. Here we go. Good. Let's do it, guys. Soup's on. What do I need to stand for this? Come on. Give me the spot. Here? Sure. Fine. Stauf! What do you want? Show yourself! Soup's on! Looking for me. Bring me the boy. Nice and clean. Cool. I could have made the soup a little more red, but still good. I got an achievement for that. Later, Zithril. so bright in here now. Does the outside look any... Nah, the outside looks the same. Uh, is there anything interesting in here now that it's all lit up? Oh, what? I can't tap the soup anymore? That's lame that they got rid of the physics for that. I wonder why. This still has not unlocked. Okay, so... Now, do I go to the storage room, or do I go up to the game room? The Discord link is not working. Astro, did you... An error, uh, HSS5CJG. It looks right to me. Maybe you're missing a character. Can you get it from modsforever.com? Oh, wait. Did you get it? Did you get the link now? Let me check the map and see. I mean, it says the storage room is available. I just didn't feel like there was anything to do in there. Wow, I'm like... Yeah, I know I'm leaving the player. How, how do I recenter myself on this game? Uh, this area looks the same. So I'm probably just missing something, and it's probably something obvious, too.
Is this how you use it? You're like... I don't know what this is, to be honest. But it looks like... This is the handle? Maybe? Do I use it on the doll? I don't know, maybe this room is just for coins. But some of those objects seem a bit suspicious. I guess we could come back here later and see what happens. Hmm. Okay. And I still can't open this yet. chains those chains come from behind maybe we got to go back here to unlock those chains like is it here mm. Okay, I'm giving up on this area for now. Just bide your time. You know when the moment is right. Well, let's go to the game room. I got more paintings going. Whoa. Uh, game room was on this side, I do believe. Yeah. Edward? Where are you? Fancy. <laughs> I keep thinking I still have my wire attached, but I'm off the wire right now. Uh, the madman. This guy player. needs some help. Hmm. Well, there must be something here to explain all of this. Ready, riddle, whiskey, Glen Stauff, Gut Punch, Dark Ale. I like the Glen Stauff. I almost thought it broke for a second. This looks like it might open. Maybe later. I can't even grab that door now. Interesting these have a grabbing animation, but no opening. These don't open either. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this gonna work? It kind of works. Let's see if I can actually pierce the dartboard, though. Wow, they fly really well. I'm just gonna do this for this. This is kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah, it works. It works. Guys, we've got VR darts here. It's just not easy. I'm no expert dart player, but I feel like this is harder than real life. <laughs> I feel like I could do this a little bit better at this distance if this was real life. They fly like upwards a little bit, so it's a. Uh... Oh, that was pretty good. That was a good one. So, yeah, if you throw them too fast, then they. They fly up really high. Okay, don't don't swing too fast. Let's take this one. It takes too long to respawn. Damn. Yeah. All right, that's good for now. Yeah, there's probably a puzzle here. Like these thingies. Uh, but let's explore a bit more. And then probably take a break, because I need another break. I don't know, um... Do you get used to VR? Because <laughs> I don't know, like, if... I don't know if you get better at this. I've been streaming for five hours now, but I took a few breaks already. I mean, five hours is a long time. But. He started to resent all those sanctimonious townspeople. In desperation and out of spite, he turned to a life of crime. Driven out of town, he hid in the neighboring woods and robbed those who crossed his path at knife point. All alone during the cold winter nights, Stauff was surrounded by nothing but shadows, creeping ever closer. Well, I'm like in this one. Oh my god. That was insane. <laughs> Can we play pool? Oh man. What am I close to? My TV. Let me. <laughs> Let's not. To not bash my TV with a virtual pool cue. It works. The pool table works, guys. Um, it's not easy though, I will say that. Okay, that does yeah, okay, so if you if you grab the right spot of the pool cue, it helps a lot. That's just my couch. This is pretty good. Oh, there's probably an achievement for getting all the balls in, isn't there? Alright. Alright, we're gonna be here for a while. I'm sorry, guys. I wonder if I can just grab the balls and cheat it. I can. Well, this is no ordinary game of billiards. There is something is a else going on. Ah, it's a puzzle. All right, we'll get back to it. I really do need to take a break. <laughs> oof, oof, big oof. Beheading, multiple beheadings. Where are the other heads though? I looked at these. Turtles? Why do they have turtles on their heads?
Parker Brothers game, huh? Tiddlywinks, the popular game of Tiddlywinks? Never heard of it. No writing. Can't pull the cork. It's interesting that there are literal board games in this game room. Nice eye. Chemistry outfit. All out of a hat. It's a book of magic tricks. It looks more like a box though, I guess. Is this a board game or is there a book in there? Ten tricks inside. Oh, it's probably a book and props together. It's probably a kit, a magic kit. Another bill. Oh no. We got some chests up in here. I wonder if the bells will have a purpose. It's weird that there's two of them. Nothing but queens. And a queen is lethal in any direction. So it's an 8x8 eight eight board. Um, but there's something else going on here. This is not... I mean, first of all, there's only six here. But maybe the other, the other two are nearby. But I mean, the fact that there's spots here and here, maybe it's a little different from the seventh guest uh, original. Can I close this, please? No? Alright, leave it. Look at the moon! I don't know- oh. On the table. Instead of cards, it's... Body parts? Of... A child? Is that... Is that a child or an adult? Alright. Okay, um, so the Queen's puzzle, it looks like we might not have enough pieces to do it yet. I mean, there's literally empty spots in the tray, like, it seems pretty obvious that we need two more to do that puzzle, whether it's eight Queens or something, some derivative. Did I look at this? Huh. Ooh, spooky! Embittered, he started to resent all those sanctimonious townspeople. In desperation and out of spite, he turned yeah, to a this. life of crime. Driven out of town, he hid in the neighboring woods and robbed those who crossed his path at knife point. All alone during the cold winter nights, Stauf was surrounded by nothing but shadows, creeping ever closer. Painting of this room? Oh. 
I think it's not quite this room. Because there's tables all around. Well, three tables on that side. See, these are round tables, though. Those are rectangular. It's slightly different. I don't know if it's intended to be the same. So, you know, there's something at the front on the opposite side of the pool table. And that doesn't appear in this room. It's like a little rectangle table with some flowers or something. Not quite. Okay. Let me uh, do my break. I'll be right back.
Okay, so um, I can chat with you guys on the headset. I don't need to be completely silent on the regular just <laughs> audio headset, not the VR headset. I am ordering some food because I kind of want to beat this game in one stream. Although, <laughs> that might be a little insane. We'll see how it goes. The dedication, I know. It's not even 6 p.m. We we can do this. As long as my, uh, as long as I don't get VR sick, should be fine. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, there can't be that much left of this game, right? Like, maybe another five hours? Uh, I am definitely doing all of the exploring. So, <laughs> I'm not exactly rushing through the game. Well, I haven't puked by now. I definitely feel a little bit dizzy. But, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it'll be fun. So yeah, I gotta say the game is pretty good. Everything's really well done. That storeroom is still confusing me, though. I, I didn't see anything to do in there. Just a couple items to grab, but then again, there's so many items you can grab that don't do anything, so maybe it's meaningless. Let me crank up the notification volume on my phone. Food should be here around 6.30. The storeroom did have two coins, right? Because you had one coin near the spider, and then you had the other coin in the bathroom inside the toilet. I don't know if it's going to be just coins. I I feel like there might be a reason to go back there at some point. And there was, like, you could see downstairs through the floorboards. I wonder if those floorboards break or something and you can jump down there. Or, or maybe there's some kind of puzzle involving looking up and looking down or passing an item through the floor or something. Might be interesting. I wish the uh, the standby on the headset didn't kick in, because that, that means you guys lose music, I think, right? I don't know if I can change that. So Steam VR has Steam VR itself has a timeout, but the headset has its own timeout too, I think. I don't know if I can disable the one inside the headset. Oh, you know what? The Steam VR one also maxes out at five minutes. It it won't do like infinity. But we can try it. Headset times out first. Yeah, it's yeah. Let me crank up the Steam VR. Okay, so you guys can hear music while the headset's in standby. Let me uh, put the headset in front of my face. No straps. Okay, you guys hear music now? And can you guys hear me? Are you hearing an echo? You're probably hearing an echo. 
Okay, now it should be just, wait. Like this? <clears throat> can you still hear music now? I guess I can just check that myself. Yeah, seems good. Another thing I could do is I could just do desktop audio. <laughs> I could try to put the headset down inside the play area. Oh wait, no, it's complaining about my bounding. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, did I do it? There we go. No, there goes your video. <laughs> okay, well, that's the best I can do. For now. the head strap in front of the proximity sensor to keep it from timing out. Really? Yep, you're right. I can, do, I can in fact do that. I don't know of a way to hold it, but... Hey, Pack Wolf. Yeah, uh, I am a big fan of the 1993 The Seventh Guest and the entire series. This one is really good. This is really well done. I didn't keep it. Maybe if I just put something here to... Oh god. I don't know. Something like that. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, this game's really cool, and the soundtrack is so good. I need to... Need to check. Did anyone actually check the game files to see if the soundtrack's in there? I might as well do that now. <laughs> While I'm trying to recoup, get ready for more VR. And also, maybe my food will arrive soon. It might be like a separate uh, download in the Steam, like add-ons or whatever. Huh, they use Boost. I see DLLs for Boost. I don't know if I've ever seen Boost DLLs in a commercial game. Not that there's anything wrong with that. As long as you don't use it inside of a hot loop, it should be fine. Yeah, I don't I don't see anything inside. I don't see any music files. Yeah, I think you guys are getting a fine feed. I'm I have something stuck in front of the proximity sensor on the headset. So it keeps it awake even when I'm not wearing it. Just so you guys got something to look at and you can hear the music. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can I can put my hands in front of the VR headset and it will detect them. How awesome is that? It's uh not doing a good job at it in this position though. But yeah, that's funny. Okay, where's my food? Okay, I think I'm gonna put the headset on for a bit more, do a little bit more gameplay, 
until my food gets here, because obviously I'll have to take the headset off to eat anyways. Let me hide my BRB. Back to chat. I got dirt on my lens, but uh, I can't see it while wearing the headset, so that's fine. But oh, does everything look good for you guys on stream? Is the sound working and stuff? It's a little hard to check again. Oh yeah, the pool balls are a puzzle. I forgot. We're going to have to look into that. Um, I am on the charger right now. I figured it wasn't worth unplugging if we're going to go back to taking off the headset for eating. Guess we can try this real quick. I like that little ghost view of the chest piece, so you know where you're putting it. Uh. Oh, it ate one. I'm um, a bit far from my charger. Why is this puzzle so hard with the charging cable plugged in? See, I don't know if it makes any sense though to play this with just six pieces. Like, this is too easy. See, it wants two more. I mean, we figured that, right? We have eight slots here. Do I need the... You think I need the cue to do this puzzle? The stick? I feel like I should be able to just do it by hand, right? Oh my god. Oh, what does the dot mean again? Is the dot the bottom or the top? Is this a 9 or is it a 6? Can you guys even see this? Is this a 9 or... That's a 9, right? This one's a 12? Are the pockets anything? Oh, oh my god. Well, how do I read this? Am I crouched? <laughs> I guess this is the right side up. Okay, so to get the queen, uh, some kind of numeric symbols. Two in there. I mean, is it really that simple? Well, we don't have a one, do we? This is a three. I don't know what kind of markings these are supposed to be, but I figure this is probably three, right? 
Are we good? Did it work? <laughs> Was that correct? Okay. Give me the two. This is probably the two. Oh, wait, there's two dots there. Okay, so the line is probably a five. It's probably just some kind of tallies or Roman numerals or whatever. Am I crazy? Please. Okay. This is a 12, so we need. We need two lines and two dots. It's probably this one. We said this was a six, right? So it's gonna be, it's gonna be five and one. This seems kind of too easy. Oh god, I just hit something. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't hurt myself at least. The line over here. Which one was this? The nine? Uh, so that one. Gimme. It's a chess piece. Probably part of another one of Stop's Twisted Games. Okay, um, I didn't actually really... I don't know if that's going to be solvable when I get the last queen. Let me check my food. Let's see, where's my food at? Like ten minutes. Okay, uh, there was the drinks up here, which is probably the the other queen, right? Oh yeah, there's a logo of a queen on the stained glass. I would say that's it. Well, let's just try putting something on here. Do you like that? Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, all these bottles are kind of glowing, right? I don't think it's going to make me go out and get a different bottle, is it? Like, uh, eh, I don't know if it's going to be one of these. Oh, how did I miss this? Coin. Ding. They're probably all here. But what's the hint? I don't really see anything. Oh, is there a hint not in this? bartender section. Didn't I close this earlier? Okay, well that well, one. This bar has plenty of drinks, but stuff seems very particular. 
Should I try some of the Glen stuff? <laughs> Make sure it's perfectly centered, right? No, I didn't like that. Oh. Okay. Um. The logos don't seem to match, but I guess the shapes do. Since one of these. Perhaps there is a clue in this room to help me deduce the right drinks. I could swear that was the right shape. Maybe the logo does matter. I have it backwards. Let me try the center one first. The center one is round. I don't even see that anywhere. Is there maybe one of each, and that's it? Are they actually unique? Yeah, this is definitely that logo. Uh, for the left one. Toymaker's mark. Get on the thing. Do something. Are you happy? Well, it's not disappearing yet. Okay. So... Where's the next one? It's not quite right. Lost Souls Rum. That looks... Yeah, this should be it. Now I need that weird circle one. I think it's over there. This is definitely it. Ah, I can jump over the pool table. Another chess piece. Well, I see where this is going. Um, oh, I did it. Well, look at that. This is what they wanted to do in the original game, where each chess piece was a character. Enjoy your little victory while it lasts. And here they are. Check me. Okay, so before we start this, in the original game, they wanted the chess pieces to be the characters, the queen pieces to be the characters, or at least the final queen piece to be Tad. But the problem with that is when you're doing an FMV game, when your chess pieces are video files, and you need 64 uh, possible video files, right? You need one video file for each spot. You, you multiply that when you change the pieces, right? If all the pieces are identical, you only need 64 video files, uh, one for each spot. You actually need one rising and one falling. But if you, if you make them different, you need another set of videos for the different graphic chess piece. So they couldn't do it, because that would have been ridiculous. Do I stand across from you? I'll just tell me where you want me to stand. <laughs> Probably here. 
Why are these so picky? You want me to stand in you? No? Let me check my food. Where's my phone? There it is. Okay, I got like five minutes until food. Let's play this cutscene then. If I could just find the spot. Why is this so hard? It would only make sense to stand around here, right? Am I crazy or is this like way harder than the others? I wonder if this is the bug that Dark Shocks was talking about. I didn't look. Dark Shocks mentioned a bug in the Discord, but he spoiler tagged it, so I'd, you'd have to click it to read what it was. Am I doing something wrong or what? Let's uh, just walk over here. <laughs> Maybe I should leave the room and re enter? Let's try that. Oh, there's old magic here. I'm sure of it. Oh, I got to turn around. Okay, now maybe we can watch it. No. Uh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. No, this has to be a bug. There's no way it's this picky. Like, come on. Let me check. Um, interesting. It changes my location when I open the menu, just like the original game. Okay, what time is it? You know what? My food's almost here. Um, let me... Let me make sure you guys don't have to listen to that sound. Okay.
All right, so I got my food. I'm gonna eat some real quick. I figure I'll probably, um, did I get double chicken nuggets? What? Nice, did I even pay for that? <laughs> I think I got a free chicken nuggets. Well, all right. So, yeah, I think uh, this bug seems like it's going to really prevent progress. So once I'm done eating, we can try quitting the game, see if Steam has any patches for it, and then start the game again. We'll see what happens there. If not, maybe we can look around online and see if anyone found a workaround. <laughs> or maybe I'll just look up a video of someone actually succeeding to trigger this cutscene. It might just be really specific. Yeah, this VR is, uh, it's tiring. <laughs> it takes a toll on you. Yeah, they definitely remade the game from the ground up. There's nothing <clears throat> there's nothing in common 
with the original game. Except some like word choices, like some bits of dialogue and basic story beats are the same. But technically speaking, there's there's nothing reused. Yeah, um, bringing FMVs into VR was actually a brand new innovation for this game. That hasn't been done before.
Okay, let me try to restart the game while I finish my food. Is there a way to manually search for updates on a game in Steam? I guess I could restart Steam. Let me try that. Because I don't know if there's actually a manual way to to search for updates, right? I would guess that just starting the game checks for updates, but I don't know. Oh, I can check my achievements. Um, okay, well, some of these achievements are kind of boring. Just like solve this room, solve that room. Like, yeah, everyone's going to get those. So you need them to beat the game, right? <clears throat> oh, this is interesting. This one's actually pretty low. So... Some of these rooms, like solving Temple's room, solving Heine's room, have like 11% of players getting that achievement. But then Shine the Light on Stop's Painting only has 9.8%. So there are people who've gone upstairs without shining the light on that painting. That's a little bit interesting. All the other achievements though, are required, at least that I've gotten. But I've only got 9 out of 28 achievements. I've only got 32% of the achievements. And I'm pretty sure I'm more than halfway through the game. So there's definitely some achievements that are not required to beat the game. I'll have to try to get those. I don't know if I'll be able to get them all today. But we're going to try. <laughs> I'm not going to read them either. Not until I beat the game. Oh, thanks. Yeah, if you find anything, that'd be really useful.
controllers. I probably should turn off my BRB screen before putting on the headset. Ah, uh, you know what? It's no problem. I can do it while wearing the headset. Uh, yes, yes, I can. Let me check how my battery's doing. 77%, more than enough. We can un unplug this thing. Well, I said it's done loading. Where's the thing? <laughs> what happened to my game? There we go. That was weird. I don't think it did that before, but whatever. So, anyone who was in here at the beginning of the stream, this is the menu to the game. How cool is that? My like, my forehead is kind of starting to hurt from the headset. <laughs> Just resting on there. Oh god, I'm only 40% complete. Uh, we're not gonna be able to beat it tonight. Okay, uh, let's make sure everything's working. Audio seems good, right? Video seems good. Okay, let's try and play this game. Man, I need like a pad to put at the top of the headset where it rests on my forehead. I don't think you're supposed to play VR for six hours, but still. Let's try this again. If this doesn't work, then uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll have some other rooms we can do before doing this. Like this, we might need to wait until tomorrow for a patch. If they're even that quick, that'd be a quick patch. Uh, it's, it's not giving me good vibes right now. This kind of feels like it's not working. Yeah, we might have to catch this cutscene tomorrow. Uh, but, there's probably something else we can do, right? We could do Martine's room. See, it doesn't mark the game room as solved until we... until we watch that cutscene. Oh, the workroom is considered locked. The storage room is not locked. But we, we've been in there, I just don't know what to do in there. Okay, well, at least we can do Burton's room. So we can do that room and maybe stop for the day, or maybe we can do a little more after that. We'll see. 
but I, I don't think we're gonna beat this game tonight. <laughs> if we're only 40% of the way done, then no way. I didn't even check where Burden's room was. Oh, I'm right. It is this room. All right, let me center myself. Oh, that's wonderful. These mannequins. All this just for me? Incredible. I wonder if the rooms of the other guests are this fancy. Nice frog. Uh, we can try the game room again later, I guess. Well, I don't know. It seems a little weird to start another room before finishing that one. It's right here anyways. Let's go. Okay. I'd also be curious if anyone can find a video of someone triggering this cutscene. Because we could probably copy their standing location. Why does that appear sometimes? Is that like random or what? Yeah, this this is not working. All right. Stand by the pool table. By the queue, like here? Stand here? <laughs> Can't do it. Just can't get it to work. No, we're, we'll do it. We'll do it tomorrow. I don't know. Unless we get something specific. All right, back to this. We did that. I feel like there are more of these ghosts just doing nothing. <sighs> Former Miss Harley returns. Martine Burden, were you, were you, uh, Miss Harley? Miss Harley Alonso? Is there a better place to read this? <laughs> Imagine my surprise, dear readers, when a little birdie told me that former homecoming queen and Miss Harley 1932, Miss Martine Burden, sneaked back into our little town. She arrived late Friday evening by bus, perhaps disappointing her many male admirers expecting a limousine or any uh, or any other fancy form of transportation. She then disappeared Oh no, my hands are stuck. <laughs> she then disappeared into her family house, her family home where we uh, can only assume, or we can only assume she regaled many titillating tales of her time in the Big Apple. Perhaps she can explain why we never read about her sensational career 
as a celebrated actress on the Great White Way, which she promised everyone when she left our quaint little town two years ago. Faithfully yours, Greta Divine. Like Graham Divine? Okay, we got a Martine card. The manipulative, manipulative Martine Burden, maybe. Nice moon. <laughs> All right, let's watch the card. Actually. You are a puzzle, aren't you? Oh, I could probably open these. <clears throat> and find nothing! Okay. Alright, let's do the card. The shadows surrounding Stauff started to call his name. They were his friends, they whispered. Then they entered his dreams. They showed him a beautiful doll. It seemed alive somehow. Its gaze haunting. The next day, the image still festered in his mind, and he carved the oh, small creepy figure picture. out of a dead branch. And he made the doll just as he saw it in his dream. I gotta say, that picture of Stuff carving the doll was pretty cool. Doggo. Whoa. It's a face swap. More thingies here. How can he possibly have these? <clears throat> Grand feet, F E T E feet. At Stoff Mansion? Remember our illustrious and eccentric millionaire, Mr. Henry Stoff? After years of seclusion, he apparently will be throwing a game next Saturday. Of course, we would love to know who is invited to. I hate that I have such a chance to read this stuff. Who is invited to this highly exclusive soiree? Sorry? I don't know. We know at least one invitee, former Miss Harley herself, Miss Martine Burden. When speaking to our humble reporter, she mentioned that she returned specifically to honor Mr. Stoff's invitation. Mr. Stoff is a genius. Would you ignore an invitation from him? Who indeed? We asked if she was disturbed by his often reported eccentricities. All geniuses have their quirks. That's what makes them stand apart from the rest. Genius or not, your dedicated reporter would love to be a fly on the wall at the Saturday's gala event. Greta Divine again. Faithfully yours, Greta Divine. Oh, hey, Astro. Uh, is your dad gonna play the Seven Guest VR? Is he gonna stream it? Sorry. Why are you so creepy? God. Let's open this thing. Coin. Oh, I can move it while it's floating. I didn't even... 
That was awesome. I need to do that every time now. Whenever the coin starts floating away, I need to flick it. Uh, you look like a puzzle. I can tell because you have a big red button. Oh my god. Okay. So that's a puzzle. That's one of those, like, pad thingies. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That's funny. It's not actually there, either. <clears throat> okay, but it's not that easy to read. <laughs> Mixed bag. Although most of the main cast gave believable performances, the same cannot be said about the debuting Martine Burden, playing the role of seductive flapper Mitzi. Her performance can be summed up in a single word, wooden. But that's a disservice to wood, as, as I've seen planks with more emotion. The soldiers' costumes are very realistic. Well, it's good for the soldiers. Uh, yeah, I, I played with my parents. I was only like six or seven when we got this game. My dear Miss Burton, I'm so glad you could join us. Our town is much uh, richer now that you have returned. And a party would simply not be the same without your dazzling presence. Look carefully. There is a mystery here for you to solve. This whole mansion is a puzzle filled with clues. But Miss Burton, please watch your step as nothing here as what it seems. This house has its own rules and it can be a cruel mistress. Yet solve its mystery and you obtain your heart's deepest desire. In the meantime, I remain your devoted patron, Henry Stout. So I'm gonna keep okay. Uh did we do everything? Is it puzzle time? Now which puzzle do we start with? Teddy bear. I think we start with the, the gem puzzle. I mean, I can't do anything with this. Wait. A jewelry box for me, okay. Henry Stout. <laughs> you are quite the generous host. How do I? When oh, I press I just did... the gems, the ones next to it also change. So this is the goal of this. So it's almost like a lights out type puzzle. Is that bad? Is that bad? Did I break it? <laughs> okay, so I guess at that point you have to start over. I'm gonna have to start again. Okay, so those guys are done. See, but this one is going to change that. Ah. Okay, so I think this guy needs to be blue. This one needs to be green anyways, which means I did that all wrong. Always change in the same order. I see that. See, I touched this one. I should have been touching this one. Wait a minute. There's a, there's a gem here, but there's no gem here. Does that mean I need to break this gem? 
Alright, well now I wish I'd I wish I remember what I'd done. Hi, Cyber Sasquatch. Welcome. Come on. This one is a little different from a normal try. Oh, I was trying. This one's a little different from a normal lights out style puzzle, that's for sure. Okay, so I got that. Oh god. See, this, I needed to remember what I had done. I wish I had the order. I guess I could find it out pretty quickly. I think this one was two touches. And then... Ah, I broke it. Okay, what's the order? Red. Red, gold, green. Am I double touching? Red, gold, green, blue, back to red again. Red, gold, green, red, gold. Oh, how do I change this one, though, without... Green is correct. <laughs> Getting bored here. <laughs> Thank you, stuff. So this one is an end piece. I should probably fix him before I start messing with the others. So I probably need to do this. Was it gold green? Okay, so this one needs to be broken. Gold. I don't remember the order anymore. I don't remember the color order. Okay, well, we know this one needs to be touched probably because it needs to break. But this one could also trigger this one. Oh boy, I don't remember the color order. Is, it, is purple after green? No, it's blue. I'm screwed now. I can't get this to purple without changing this one. Yeah, that was close. You think this one's annoying? I think it's I think it's cool. I just wish I had I wish I had notes on what color order is. I I could remember it, but gold, green, gold. It's weird that it like briefly changes to blue. This one breaks really easy, so it it doesn't loop around, does it? It just breaks, I guess. I thought it would at least come back to the first color it was. Okay, gold, green, blue, purple. Red is first then, right? Red, gold, green, blue, purple. Is this literally rainbow order? Yeah, this is rainbow order. Okay. It down, but I'd be it's it's just Roy G. Biv. I can pretty easily see chat. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's just rainbow color. I don't think there's anything complicated there. Okay, so this one... That's almost certainly correct. 
Oh wait, but this guy. No, no, no. Getting it was the other side. How about some this one blue shock green. treatment? Okay, so if I click. Um, I'm going to do this. Green, blue, purple. So this needs two more. This needs one more. This needs one more. This blue is already bad. This is no good. Okay, so I need to do that without. Okay, I need this one to stay red, this one to turn green, that means I need to toggle this guy. Uh, green goes to blue to purple, so you need to get toggled twice. You also need to get toggled twice, I think it's that. There we go. Gorgeous. Perfect I thought it was a good puzzle. That's good. Okay, do you go on the female? I suppose so. I am close to something, close to my TV. The floor close tells to the them where now. to go, but it needs something extra. Jesus, this puzzle is extra. How do you... Oh no. <laughs> Is there only one? How do I do this? Come on. How did I do that? Oh, I think I have to hold the trigger. Okay. N nope. No, I guess not. I think I just hold the lantern. A little annoying. Okay, um, let's see. Probably this one. Oh, I can go through. Oh, I could have. Well, let's see. It's basically the same thing, anyways. I wonder if I need both. In action, both mannequins. Oh wait, yeah, I need to be looking down more so you guys can see the floor. This is, this is like a puzzle in Clan Destiny, really. This is not, this is not a seventh guest puzzle. In Clan Destiny, though, oh my God, screw that puzzle. It was like, imagine this, but like a bigger board, and it's a boat, and it's like, you have to like work backwards so far just to figure it out. It's insane. It, I don't think that's a good puzzle just because I think it takes way too long to solve it. And I had to use MS Paint or just, you know, I had to use something to to take notes. This one you can work forwards. At least I think, I, yeah, I solved it. Unless there's some mechanic I don't know about. Are you happy? Did we do the thing? I guess, I guess we're done with her. Hey, welcome, uh, Day, Daymania Brat, <laughs> Daymania Brat, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry, coin, ding, oh, I forgot to, I forgot to do the swat, alright, what do you need, you need a different type of heart piece, which I probably get from here, 
Okay, so how does this work? Is this the same thing? Blue goes to purple. Yeah, I guess it's the same thing. It's kind of hard to read this one, though. I think that's right. Okay, yeah. I think I need to hit the center one. Because that needs to be blue. Eat this. Eat this. Uh oh. No, wait. I did that wrong. Okay, well. Why is this puzzle so jerky? Oh wait, these are supposed to be blue. No wait, maybe I'm supposed to hit this one. This is purple already. No, this is no good, because I need this guy to be purple. Well, this one's definitely harder than the other one, I think. Uh, you guys say it's mirrored, but it looks... it looks symmetrical to me anyways. Am I reading it wrong? Hold on, let me... Let me get closer. It looks symmetrical to me. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's symmetrical. <laughs> oh, my headset is starting to, like, actually hurt my forehead. Like, the spot where the weight goes on my head. So I had this before, right? That's what I was doing before, and it... No, that's not right. What was I doing before? I was doing something before. Oh, probably this? Something like that. Oh, this is green already. No, 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 no. I need... Yeah. Give up. Okay, those are right. Oh, I forgot. Does this change this? That's annoying. It doesn't line up, but... Yeah, it does. Okay. Um... 
That's not good. Man, thought I had it. See, but then I'm stuck with this one. Oh yeah, okay, that's right. That one's supposed to be blue. All right, let's grab the heart. God. Time to unite these two lovers. How romantic! Yeah, some of those connections were a little weird. I wish they were explicit. But, whatever. I mean, you just learn them, that's all. This one I might want to work backwards. Because this one, for some reason, feels a little more complicated than the, the woman did. Wait, maybe not. How did I figure this? Do I have to re lantern or? Yeah, it just takes a bit. Oh, can you guys see this? I'm gonna look down a bit more. Let me actually check what my. Okay, yeah, looking down helps you guys. I think that's it. That one was easier than the other one. Of course, I knew the mechanics, but... <laughs> Curses. Curses. Solved. Time to do some dancing of my own. I just need a partner. Where's Edward? Let's see if this cutscene works. Oh, uh oh. So, the, the. the puzzles? Screw the puzzles, sweetheart. Eddie, you're a smart man. Puzzles, <laughs> we need to beat the others to the punch. Julia's a drunk, Hamilton's a fool, and Eleanor is a little lamb. But that snide Mr. Dutton. He is a snake. Mm, he's ruining everything. I wish he would just disappear. Let me handle him. Oh, Eddie. <laughs> you do that for me? For us? So that we can both get what we really want. Don't make me guess. Oh, I wouldn't dare. When I'm done here, I won't have to depend on anyone ever again. So the question is, can we click on the bed in this game? I think no. I don't want to replay that cutscene though. Alright, so what do we got? Anything... Anything to double check on? I think we got everything in this room. I'm gonna grab this flower real quick for no reason. No, we're done here. Let's get out. Puzzles. But if I play my cards right, I'll be out of this hellhole of a town come morning. And this time, for good. Hmm. I don't see any new rooms. Uh, 
Okay, uh, let's try the game room one more time. Ugh, it's right here. <laughs> let's try the game room one more time and then I guess we can't get it to work. Oh, coin. I couldn't do it. Yeah, we might have to, might have to end the stream if I can't get this to work. This is a long time to be in VR anyways, it's not that easy. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did it. They're after a boy. It's a sacrifice. A key. But to which door? All right. New rooms available. I know him. I bet you do. Next room, or one of them at There's least. Evil here. Old and hungry, and it's getting closer. Nursery, huh? And the music room. <laughs> yeah, it's over seven hours. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Who has a doll guillotine? What? <laughs> a room full of dolls. What if the rumors were true? Something feels very wrong here. Oh uh, yeah, I'll say there's a guillotine for dolls. What kind of toy is that stuff? There's writing everywhere. We're gonna have to take a step back just to look at all that. Look at this. Why? Like, what? Oh, you can pick up the head and put it back. Can I? Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Oh, that's interesting that that's a physics object. Kinda didn't expect that. Another head here? Oh wait, that was the... Did I throw that over? Wow. It's got an axe. Kinda wish his writing wasn't over these, cause these look pretty cool. Bugs on the floor, I guess. Their faces do not look good.
which is Oh, that's what I'm stuck on. Get some blocks. Virus claims two more Harley children. A specialist from New York Medical Center issues a uh, warning. The deadly virus that has been uh, claiming the lives of Harley's children continues to unchecked with another two children dying this week. Emily Booth, age six, and Thomas Horner, age nine, died within hours of each other. These new deaths occurred with a uh, with a suddenness and violence that have oops oh, there we go where was I <laughs> suddenness and violence that have uh, shocked the small village there has been no explanation as to why some children are getting the virus which produces a terrible fever fever from which the suffering children never recover the virus has claimed a dozen children and officials at the county hospital have a, have little help to offer terrified parents. Earlier this week, Dr. Frederick P. Wilson, a New York Medical Center immunology expert, visited the terror-stricken community. Though the world-famous doctor had no explanation for the virus and why it appeared to be limited to Harley, he did offer a warning to parents. Make sure that children wash their hands well to keep themselves as germ-free as possible. Wash their playthings, too, and in general, keep a high level of cleanliness. Yeah, wash the dolls. <laughs> uh, also important, the specialist added, parents should keep children away from any adults other than family members. It's possible, Wilson said, that adults can carry something that, while not deadly to them, will prove fatal to their children. And what is it that Harley's parents are fighting? I suspect that it's a form of the flu, some new strain that we haven't seen before. Wilson has asked to be kept informed of any new cases, promising to do what he can to understand this new disease. I wish it were easier to check the backs of things, but... It's all... random stuff anyways. What is this? I don't know what this is supposed to be. Hmm, the blocks didn't reset correctly. Interesting. Oh, I'm kind of trapped. I can't move them. Oh, I can move you. Petunia. Oh my god. <laughs> the dolls seem to be having a tea party. But where is where? Does it tell me their names? It tells me some of their names. Jesus Christ. Why? Why is there a face there? This is so much writing. Tom. Lamp. Tom. Kim. <laughs> There's a thing on the fireplace. Whew. Oh, thank you, Planet Space C, uh, for the Prime subscription. Maybe they need a head to say the name. Huh. That would make sense, wouldn't it? The voices sent him to an inn at the nearby town of Harley on the Hudson. The innkeeper had a daughter. Stauff offered the doll and in turn got a place to stay. A simple transaction. The first of many.
children, they hid me to protect me. Outside of time, away from the toy maker. Outside but of now, time. I need to help them. Before long, your little friends won't be able to protect you anymore. And when that happens, I'll be right here. This says something. The special one, Tad Gorman. <laughs> that fell. Do you have a name? Well, how am I supposed to... Does it just fit any of them? Oh, well. I don't know if there's a good guess or there's a coin back here. Give me. <laughs> okay. I guess that... Oh, maybe a different head goes with that body. It's interesting there's two coins right here. What? Alright, well... I don't know what to do with that yet. Oh my god. Interesting. Do you have a name? Guess no. Oh, huh. no head. Oh, do I need to move them? I can't, once they're set. Can you tell me your name? Momo. Whoa, whoa, oh my god, I made it angry. Why? Momo. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did you guys see that? Ben. Your eyes don't light up? That's interesting. Oh wait, you're Ben. You are needed. Here, I assume. No? No, it needs to be at the tea party. Right. It's interesting how it's a little bit picky where I can grab them. Tell me your name. Tanya. Oh, there's a button! Duh. I thought it was. I thought Momo. smacking them was doing it. Momo, I don't need Momo. Tom! Tom. I saw Tom. Tom and Kim. Wait a minute. Where's Kim? Do they have names without heads? Am I just. Mara. Mara? Yeah, they do have names before you put a head on them. Tunia, you're Momo. This is Ben. Angela. This is Angela. Which one is Angela? Angela is with Ben. That's already correct, right? Kim. You're Kim. And Kim was with Tom. Tom. Okay. You go here. Oh, that worked. What'd you get in the chair? Thank you. 
I feel like I need to rotate this chair, but maybe not. <laughs> Can I split the head off the... Off the body? I don't think I can remove the head, I think. Hello. Tom. I think they all light up their eyes when you hit their name. When you hit their button. Ben. Wait, Ben doesn't. Ben. Uh. Oh, I need to use the guillotine. This is so... This is so dirty. What? I need to actually use the guillotine to redo this? I feel horrible. <laughs> Momo. Well, Momo can stay, I guess. Okay, so the body is Momo, but the head is... Lara. Lara. This looks... this is correct. Okay. What'd you get in the chair? To the guillotine, Petunia. Petunia. <laughs> uh, do I need to pull the cord first? That's annoying. Which one is Petunia? Petunia. All right, to the guillotine. Whew, man, that's harsh. I gotta say, that's definitely something I've never seen in a video game before. Well, that doesn't help me at all. Just get back in the chair, please. Hey, you. You know, this one's good, right? Yeah. Tom! To the guillotine! Let me, uh... Oh, what happens if there's already a head in the basket? Oh, it moves it to the side. Alright. Jeez, man. This feels so dirty. Tom! So I have two correct heads. Oh, wait a minute. How do I... There's got to be a way to figure out which body goes with which head before I attach it, right? Otherwise, it's going to be a huge pain. It, it's going to be a huge pain to re-guillotine them, isn't it? It doesn't even want to do it. Whoa. Petunia. I, um, okay. <laughs> that one was very confused. Oh god, I hope this head just resets. I might need to leave the room and come back again. This is, uh... Are they unique enough? I guess so. Jesus Christ, this is so much worse at crouching level. Ben has a hat! Ben has a hat, yes. Petunia has a Okay, but where are the other heads, though? I think I need to do puzzles before I get, get the rest of the doll heads. Oh, what about you? You aren't even a named doll. You don't have a button. To the guillotine! I guess I'll stand up to the to the guillotine. That is no toy for a child. Stealth, you have a very sick mind. Yeah, no kidding. I feel like she was. Angela, right? 
She's got the bun. Okay. This is definitely Angela. Angela is probably this Angela. one. Very good. Angela. Why are the eyes red? Angela. Come on, I, it's totally Angela. The hair is perfect. She's got the bow. Well, you know what, fake Angela? You can wait over here. <sighs> okay. Kim. Tell me your name. Kim. Kim was here. Kim was not there. Kim was here. Kim has a hat, or this head has a hat. Would you say this is Lara? She's got the bow on and the hat. It's gotta be, right? Which I think is this doll. Kim. No, this is Kim. Angela. This is Angela. Lara. Are your eyes glowing? Lara. Um. Something's wrong here. Where the hell is Lara's? Where's Lara's image? Here. The hat. See the hat? Are we sure that glowing eyes isn't what we want? Get this thing out of here. I'm like confused now. Yeah, red must mean it's the correct one, instead of the inverse. Which is like, not what you'd expect, right? Usually red eyes are bad. Laura. Come here, Laura. 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 Wait. Laura. It's still not red eyes? What? Get in the chair. Lara. Okay. It's... I don't know anymore. It wasn't red eyes either way. Maybe Laura just doesn't have red eyes. Maybe it's just not who she is. I think the hair is wrong on that one. I mean, maybe. It's a little bit iffy. Where the hell is Laura again? Well, whatever. Let's try, um... Someone with a giant bow. Who are you? Oh god. Momo. This is this is definitely Momo. I think Momo's this Momo. one. Oh wait a minute. The eyes light up even if it's not attached. Petunia. So like if I hit uh oh. this button, I'll probably see that head. If it was facing me. Tom! Yeah, there's Tom. See, I don't even need to, like... <laughs> I don't need to attach it to find out. That's good. That's good to know. You. Off with your head! Eleanor, what? Why are you getting... Like, what? You are sick. This is a girl. Momo. Momo's correct. Ben. This is Ben. It's a boy. Angela. I didn't check this one. Angela's correct. Okay, so it's this one. Um, so the only one I have left- oh no, I have two left. But this one on the floor that's bugged that I can't pick up currently, I'll probably need to leave the room. Oh god, is it gonna reset all of them if I leave the room? Make sure the door closes. Tom. 
great. They got reset. The whole room got reset. Okay. Later, Astro. I might I might be stopping now. I'm <laughs> this is getting a bit difficult to keep playing. But uh yeah, I should be playing more tomorrow and hopefully I'll beat the game tomorrow. Maybe I'll have this better set up. It's too bad that one head was rolling around on the ground and I couldn't pick it up. Well, this is a really cool room. It's really sick. That's always great. I'm gonna... I guess I'll have to take my headset off first, and then we can probably raid someone, right? <laughs> 